forgot how fire this song was. <sighs> Guys, I was just watching Koi's stream and I was like, I want to stream. <laughs> I also want to stream today. I felt like streaming. I wonder if I turn my volume down if it'll turn down. Oh, whoa, that's nice. I did not know that. I turned my computer volume down, it didn't affect the stream. Okay, that's nice to know. Anyway. Hi, hello friends, hi everyone. If I sound tired today, it's because I'm very relaxed right now for some reason. I've been really relaxed the past few days. I've had a pretty decent couple of last few days. Like um, yesterday we had a pretty good day. We went to like some nice restaurants and I watched uh, the new Minions movie, which was, it was so good, I'm sorry. I don't care how old I am. I don't care how old I am. I don't care if I'm an adult and adult. The Minions movies, <laughs> they, they hit, they hit, they just hit. Okay, they're just so good. Uh, but anyway, this one was really good. Not, maybe not really good, it wasn't like, like, oh my god, this is like Oscar worthy. No, it was just like, it was entertaining, I liked it. But anyway, and um, I've been just relaxing a lot. Uh, which, which is funny because I have a lot of work to do. Uh, that I'm just kind of ignoring right now. But it's okay. I'm just telling myself this is a self-care. <laughs> this is self-care. Me just kind of ignoring everything and just falling into this state of mind where I'm just relaxed and everything's fine. <laughs> which is nice because I actually do feel a lot better than I used to. Which is why, okay, why I haven't been streaming for the past few weeks? Let me just get this out of the way. I know it's been, I know I said like, oh my god, I'm gonna return to like streaming every day this summer. Blah, blah, blah. Reason why I haven't been streaming is because I've been busy with some things, okay? Some projects. I've been busy trying to get back into the flow of making videos. I have have like a gazillion videos that are like in process of editing. I just hate editing so much, so they're just not finished, but they're there. I've been working behind the scenes, okay? It's just been like, I don't have the energy to stream after all that, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's why I haven't been streaming, if anyone was wondering <laughs> for any reason. But I'm here today. Again, I was just watching Koi's stream and I was like, I feel like streaming too. I was like, why not? She was like, she, which by the way, if you're here right now and you want to listen to Koi sing, I think you should go to her stream because it's, ooh, it's everything. It's everything to me. It is literally everything to me. Here's the, here's the link. It's so, ooh, oh my God. I can't even explain it. She's so good at singing. I didn't know this. I mean, I knew that she could sing, but I was like, wait, I could sing like that, girl? Okay, shoot. So anyway. Uh, <laughs> so if you're here to watch Genshin though, you come to the right place because today we're going to grind out these story quests. Watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Ready? Watch this. Look how many, look how many quests I have. <laughs> I haven't even finished the event yet. We have, what even is this? Is that Yelan? That's Kazuha's quest. That's Archipelago. We have these commissions. This is the Diluc thing. This is, I don't know what this is, but we're gonna do all that. I also have, um, how do I get to this? I also have uh, her story quests and his story quests that I have just not done. I just, I do not want to do them. I'm not a big fan of these characters. They're not my favorite, you know what I mean? So like, don't really want to invest time into them, but I was like, I need some primo gems. Look at, look at that. I'm almost at 60 pulls. I need some primos. And also I just want to get some XP in general because look, look how close I am to to 59. I mean, I'm not that close, but like, you know, it's it's getting there, you know what I mean? So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to shut this music off because it is loud. We're not in a party mood today. Today we're in a chill Genshin mood. Watch this. You can't even hear the music. I love that for us. Okay. Is there any music? Oh, there is. Okay, sick. Okay, first of all, also another thing, I fixed the settings on my mic, so I have no idea how I sound right now. I hope I don't sound too loud or anything like that. I'm pretty sure I don't, but like, if anyone notices anything weird about my microphone, please tell me. Anyway, we're gonna start- oh, also, update from last time I played on stream. 
But why is this so quiet? Is this another universe? And found in paradise. For I, Fischl, princess and super- <gasps> Okay, Genshin, why are you saying you're loud but you're not actually loud? You are barely, barely audible. Audible? Oh my god, audible.com? Oh my god, I'm gonna sponsor today! No, I'm just kidding. Okay, so last time, uh, first of all, I got the skin, as you can see. She's gorgeous. I have found I a new found- Shut up. I have found a new- newfound love for Fischl. I've already loved her. Like, I already did from the beginning. Actually, I used to hate her when I first started playing. Anyway, I already love her. But now I love her more because of this event. Because I saw her, like, mirage and everything. And I was like, oof! I love her. Anyway, so, uh, since then, she was already built as a physical DPS, but, uh, I just beefed her up a little bit, and I'm gonna crown her. <laughs> I decided, yeah, <laughs> we have to, I have to farm some stuff, though. We need this, haven't farmed any, any weekly bosses in maybe ages, so that's what we're gonna do today. So, like, on the to-do list, here, you know what? Here, you know what? Just to make sure that I remember, because I know I'm going to forget. We're going to write to-do list. This is the to-do list. To-do. We're going to... Uh, Is today even valid? I don't even know if today's valid. Is today valid? Oh, wow. It's my lucky day. Farm... Ba <laughs> Ignore how big this is. Hold on. Farm valid, right? Official. Uh, child boss... We're gonna finish- actually, I kind of want to finish the event quest first. Uh, I don't- mm, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, then we're gonna finish Yelan's quest. Finish- Finish who? Who? Be Shinobu's quest. Sh yep, Shinobu's quest. Finish Shinobu's quest. And then I feel like that's gonna- be like uh two hours and if we have more time then i'll do the other two uh kazuha and heizo i'm saving them for last because i don't like them i'm sorry i know everyone's gonna try to threaten to kill me but listen he they just don't hit they don't hit i'm sorry they just don't <laughs> so hold on let me see also if there's like a little bit of lag it's because i'm still watching koi stream <laughs> I'm still watching Crazy Stream in the background, just barely. Yeah, let's put the to-do to -do list right there. Boom. Alright, I'm still watching Koi Stream in the background. You don't hear it, but I do. Anyway. Alright, so last time I streamed was what? Three weeks ago? I think it was I think it was 22 days ago. Let me see. Yeah, it was 22 days ago. What's the hurry? What has happened within these past 22 days? I have do- Oh! 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 Did I- Did I do this on stream? Was I on stream when I- When I finally finished this quest? This quest is commission where like I could finally do leeway? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I did. But I've been doing leeway's uh, commissions for a while. And I keep getting the same exact ones. It's just my absolute favorite. Uh, it's very weird to be doing this. I just- I'm not used to- Okay. I'm not used to- I love when they're just up in the air and I can't reach them. <laughs> Thank you, Fenty. Uh, what was I gonna say? I was gonna say... Uh, I'm just not used to doing any commissions outside of Monset, seriously. I'm still not used to it. It's so odd. I don't even go to Monset anymore because I just have no reason to go there. And I went there for the first time to farm the talent books for Fischl. And I was like, this is weird. I don't like seeing Monset. I just don't like it. Anyway. But yeah. I've gotten the- the only quest I need from this, from Liyue, is, is- 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 this. These- no idea how to finish those. Those are just up to luck, I guess. And I think that's kind of it, right? I'm pretty sure that's the only set of achievements that I need. That's not achievement. I'm pretty sure. Also, one of these days, I kind of want to, uh, what's it called? What's it called? I want to achievement hunt because like this. Okay, that's kind of. Oh wait, that's not even the. Oh wait, no, the, never mind. That's only the second one. I know that the third one's like collect eight hundred. Yeah, there's no way. Uh, like this. I asked my friend Tony if you could help me do this, and then we didn't do it. Uh, <laughs> Tony, if you're watching this somehow, I'm holding a grudge against you. I, I want to finish this. It's so it annoys me that everything else is finished and that's not. Anyway, uh. 
that and then also yeah that's just no so one of these days maybe not today but one of these days we're gonna do that also something that happened 36 stars I'm, a, I'm a just i'm just too good at the game i'm too good i'm literally too good i don't care what anyone says i'm just a, too good at this game <laughs> that's my first time getting 36 stars i did like a few days ago and i was like oh i'm so good at the game Slay. anyway so <laughs> I did that off camera. Did I do that off camera? I don't remember. Because when I was changing my stream title, um, it said Spiral Abyss shenanigans. So I was like, did I stream Spiral Abyss? I can't remember. It's been so long since I streamed, I like, don't remember. Probably not though, huh? Because that was 22 days ago and it only resets every two weeks. So probably I did it off stream. And I guess maybe I planned to do it on stream, but then I just did it. Maybe? That's probably it. Anyway. So yeah. Nah, I can make it. Watch this. I didn't even know- is there normally a ruin guard there? Yeah, no, that's for the commission. Okay, I was like, that's normally not there. Come here! Come here, bestie. Come here, bestie. Bye. I love Zhongli. Zhongli was carrying the heck out of my sorrow of this, too. Zhongli and Hu Tao, like, the power duo. Literally the power duo. I can't. They were doing so well. I really hope that- okay. I hope that the stats come out and I remember to stream when the stats come out because I swear Hu Tao was just hitting. She was hitting so hard. It was crazy. Uh, did I already- I don't remember if I did chat. No, I didn't. Okay, let's do- let's do this out of order. <laughs> I want to try- okay, first of all, I want to be a little quirky and I kind of want to try- uh, official's physical build. Like, I want to put- I want to, like, record it and, like, put it on camera. Like, I want to make a comparison of, like, how she is right now versus, like, how she is when I just buff the heck out of her. So, Behold, we're gonna use her for this fight. The princess and I think that's good. Normally, I think people use definitely Yunjin and Bennett, and I don't know what this third slot is. I don't know what- I think it's Superconduct, so, like, anyone's, like, cryo. Which, in that case... Let's use... Let's use... Where is she? Oh my god, I lost her. Baby girl Diana. My help as usual. You know what? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. I'll admit it. Anyway. So let's see. Let's just see, because I've never done this before. I've never, like, tried her out with, like, a team before. I've only done her... Like, I've this only tested her out solo. Hard to come by. Well, then. Oh, dead. Amuse, Amuse me. me. So let's just see how this goes. Set bestie. Be we need to get Yunjin's ult up. Dog, I was like, <laughs> I was thinking about like how much I love Yunjin because I just really love Yunjin. I can't explain it. I just love her so much. But okay, wait. Let me focus on this first. Okay, we're gonna do, we're gonna do this, this, ow, this, this, super conduct, and let's go. Crit, girl, crit. Crit, no. <laughs> Oh. No, no, I meant crit. <laughs> That's sick and twisted. I meant crit on the last hit. Come on, I know she can do better than that. She was hitting like, like 14k when we were fighting Senora. It was insane. Oh, I love when you just don't crit. Was uh, slay. All right. So my door is open for some reason. I did not do that. This showcase is not going well. <laughs> It is not. And step. I was thinking about how much I love Yunjin and how I don't really use her, like, ever. I built her, like, once, and then, like, I just never used her, and I think it's funny. Just... Okay, listen, maybe this is just not my showcase day. <laughs> I think we can agree on that. It's just not... Not my day. Okay, watch. Okay, no, this time for sure. Shoot, 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 shoot. Okay, this super conduct. Shut up. There you go. Look, 13k first hit. Oh, come on. That's. We don't talk about that. Let's use the DPS Iona. <laughs> oh, jeez. Visual. I think that's the only problem with her. Her HP is ridiculously low. I don't know how to change that, but it's okay. 
Bum -ba -da -dum -bum -ba -da -dum -bum oh no, Dream Solvent. Thank you, child. You're my favorite. Favorite boss. I love him. He's great. Oh no, Coast stop streaming. Sorry, I'm checking Discord. Okay. Now that that's done, <laughs> we're doing this very out of order. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> How do I. Okay, we're gonna delete that. Okay, okay, okay. And now we're gonna finish this commission. I hate this. I seriously hate this commission. It's so annoying. I hate doing it. It comes up every single time. Every single time. Every single day I do commissions. It this one is always here and I hate it so much. It takes so long. Have I ever mentioned how much I love Fischl's skin, by the way? Oh my god. She's and the scene in the event where she was like confronting herself, I was like, oof. So good. Also, why did Venti? <laughs> why did Kaya not? Okay, why, why am I not used to playing? Why did Kaya not, not get in the party? Hello, Miss Girl. I literally clicked you. Oh, I'm looking. I'm looking forward to this. Can gliding be faster? Yeah. Think you can get away? Venti is almost done. Uh, being what's it called? Almost done being level 10 friendship, and I'm really looking forward to it because I just do not use him anywhere other than Sparlopus. <laughs> I don't like using him. Uh, I mean, I like using him, but like, it's just like, I don't want him on my team, my main team for like eight months, which is really just how long he's he's been there. That's an exaggeration, of course. But I'm sick and tired of him being here. I want to use someone else, but he just won't reach level 10. It's just frustrating. Look at him. Look how close he is, too. Look. Look how he just doesn't want to leave. He just doesn't. I don't understand. Uh, did I already do... What day is it today? It's Saturday? I don't remember if I did, like, all this stuff. Okay, I did it. I already did. Okay, I just didn't do the forging. Why am I stuck in the wall? Anyway, okay. Thank you for complete did I already talk about, like, what I did yesterday? Okay, yeah. Okay, here, let me do, like, a like a, like a play-by-play -play of what I did yesterday. Because yesterday was quite eventful. Okay, so first of all, uh, we're going to start this story with my mom. Which, by the way, I need to remember to talk about my mom later. Because she is going to be a very important subject. But anyway, a few, maybe, like, a week or so ago. And I don't think I'm really supposed to talk about this. But it's okay. It's not like you guys are my family members or anything. So I think it's fine. Uh, but the other day, my mom's like, Ash, I had a dream a few years ago about this house, uh, and, and, and like, I don't know how to explain it. She's like, I had this dream about this house that was avocado colored, like the walls were avocado colored, and it had a tree in the front, and also in those, like, same kinds of dreams, I've been dreaming of the word descanso, but I don't know what descanso is, and I was like, I jokingly was like, uh, descanso means... <laughs> <laughs> means sleep in Spanish, anyway, or I sleep, but anyway, or like I rest, you know. But she's like, no, 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 like descanso, just like, just like in general, like, like you know. And I was like, oh, okay. Uh, what do you think it means? And she's like, I found out what it meant, just just today. I was looking up uh, listings, like property li property listings on the internet, and I found this house near descanso that fits this exact same description of how I had it in my dream. And I was like, wow, that's cool. Like literally when she was describing it, she described it first and then she showed me the picture and I was like, wow, that really is very accurate. She's like, yeah, and it's like right next to, it's it's near Descanso. And I was like, oh, that's crazy. She's like, so yes, I think, she was like, I think that this is a sign that I should buy this house. And I was like, okay, shoot, go for it. And so yesterday we took some time to First of all, I woke up really early. <laughs> Great, I know. Uh, we yeah. took some time to go to this place, right? That's near Descanso. It's not in Descanso, it's just near it. Which, uh, I'll get to that later. But, uh, we went to this place and to look at this house. Because my mom was like, yeah, I want to buy it, but I want to see it first. And I was like, okay. And I, okay, first of all, I personally loved the house. I loved it. It was cute. It was small. I like cute houses. I like old houses. You know, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I loved it, you can even say. Uh, but the problem is that it was so old and busted that, like, like, her original plan was to 
use it as like an investment property where she would like you know buy it and then like you know fix it up a little bit and then use it as like an airbnb kind of rent thing you know uh but it was so broke down and like just dilapidated that like i feel like they thought it was beyond repair in a way <laughs> like it was gonna be too expensive okay it's gonna be i love when they just teleport out of the attack it was gonna be like too expensive to like maintain it and like rebuild it and stuff like that that it just was not worth it in the end especially because it was like really overpriced on the market so my mom was like yeah we're not gonna take this house but i liked it like i personally if i had the, all the money in the world and i was like yeah i just want to i just want to fix up houses for a living i would i would take the house it's just it was a cute house anyway so then she's like yeah we're not gonna get the house after that we went to a nearby restaurant uh and we got <laughs> we got a pizza but they put in the order wrong and accidentally gave us two pizzas like the one pizza being free uh so for the past for yesterday and today i've been eating just pizza <laughs> it's just been pizza it just, which i don't mind because pizza is my favorite food but like it's just overloaded pizza for a while anyway they also had like elote but it wasn't really like elote it was like corn on the cob which i guess you know is elote but like they didn't they put ranch on it instead of like cheese and butter and it was really weird and my mom didn't like it but anyway and apparently their wings were very salty and not cooked well so anyway if you ever go to Julian, don't go to Julian Beer Company. It's <laughs> not the best in the world. Also, I didn't even realize that I was dying. Anyway. So then after that, we went home. It was like maybe afternoon at this point. And my mom's like, we should watch the Minions. And I was like, yes, let's watch the Minions. But first, uh, we were chilling around for a while. So uh, we, like, we were literally home for a while. So we stayed home for a while. And then we're like, uh, let's go eat dinner. And I was like, okay, it's really early, like five o'clock, but sure, let's eat dinner. Uh, because lately I've been craving, I, I love how there's like six million parts of the story. Anyway, because lately I've been really craving curry, like like Indian curry. Like a few days, like maybe last week actually, uh, my mom took me to a Thai place for curry, but then I was like, that does not hit the spot. I want like Indian curry. Like I want, I want Himalayan. Like I just want, I want curry, like spicy curry. So we went to this restaurant and they I just had the best curry of my life. I think that was probably the best curry I've ever eaten. It was so good. It was like vegetable curry and then they had I really don't remember the pronunciation of like what it was actually called, but I just remember it started with an M and it was like potatoes, like potato balls with like cheese. Yeah? Am I what? Am I what your Venmo account? No? Why? No, yeah, I'm using my own. No, not at all. Anyway. It was really good, basically, is what I'm trying to say. That was so good. Like, I ate every single drop of that curry. It was so good. It was so good. I was crying. I was shaking and crying because of the curry. I'm just kidding. Anyway, it was really good. Ooh, I got an email from a job application that I did a few days ago. Anyway, so that's how my day went yesterday. And we watched the Minions and it was really funny. My favorite, okay. <laughs> my favorite part of watching Minions in the theaters was uh, there were so many kids there. I didn't expect there to be so many kids there at like 7 p.m., but it's fine. Uh, and they were all, like throughout the movie, they were all like laughing and like having a good time. It was very wholesome. I loved it so much. And like at the end they like clap for movie and it was just it was so cute i was like oh my god it's really weird to like see kids be outside <laughs> for some reason i think i'm so used to like to like uh to like kids staying inside because you know pandemic and stuff that like it's weird to like see them like outside like at a movie theater you know what i mean i don't know if that makes any sense kind of sounds weird when i just said it but it was very it was very wholesome it was very cute and they all enjoyed it and i was like oh so cute um uh, anyway it was pretty good. It was entertaining. And I actually like genuinely laughed at some parts. Like I was thinking, I walked in and I was thinking like, yeah, I really want to watch it, but like it's probably gonna be cringe. Uh, then I walked out and I was like, that was well worth, that was well worth an hour and a half. That was very nice. That was a nice movie. It was entertaining and it was funny. Which made me want to watch all the Despicable Me movies again. But uh, boo hoo, they're not on Netflix anymore, which is just stupid. Cause they used to be and I used to see it on Netflix. I don't know why they took it down, but it's fine. 
I don't know where to watch it. I'm probably gonna uh, definitely not pirate it somewhere, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna... <laughs> My plan for the weekend? Watch the Despicable Me movies. Anyway, so what else, what else, what else? Oh, speaking of movies, speaking of movies. Uh, tomorrow, I don't know why, but other than this, this big old new movie, I was also thinking of watching, rewatching 100k charge attack. I was also thinking of rewatching, uh, what's it called? What's it called? Kung Fu Panda? Because there's a scene in the Minions movie. I don't, this is not really spoilers to be honest. It's just like a little plot point. There's a scene in the movie where the, where the three minions, you know, Kevin, Stewart, and Bob, they, they, they get beat up outside of like an acupuncture place like owned by a like a, a lady and then the lady is like that's not nice you should pick on someone your own size and she beats up the the people who are attacking the minions with kung fu and then it was really entertaining that that lady was so entertaining anyway she her little kung fu moment and like the kung fu scenes with the minions which are really funny just reminding me like, wow, I really miss watching Kung Fu Panda. That used to be my favorite movie as a kid, like one of my favorite movies as a kid. Like I love that movie. So I was like, I wanna watch it. And while I was looking through this big bull me on Netflix, which again is not there. <laughs> They're so funny for that. Uh, I was like, oh, they have Kung Fu Panda. Maybe I should just watch Kung Fu Panda instead. And there you go. So now I was like, and then, and then it also connected, like all these thoughts, just all these scattered thoughts connect in some way or another, okay, trust. But in the end, I was like, oh, I haven't hosted an event on my server in like a really long time, like in more than a month, almost two months. And I was like, what am I building? What am I doing? Oh, yeah, ballot. So I was like, why not? <laughs> why not revive my events with a movie night of Kung Fu Panda? Especially because the last time I hosted a movie night, I stopped doing it because my computer was so laggy that it just did not stream very well. But this time it's going to be different because my, you know, my new laptop and stuff like that is a beast. So I'm pretty sure I can stream movies and not uh, have it be a slideshow. I'm pretty sure. Pretty darn sure. So, uh, yeah, that's what we're doing tomorrow in my Discord server. Which, by the way. Uh, oh my god. Is my bot not on? Don't tell me the bot isn't on. Hold on. I've been having weird issues with uh, the the bot thing, the bot for my uh, stream not working, like ever. Are you alive, Miss Bot? Is she not alive? Maybe she's not alive. Hold on. Sound alert, Streamlabs. Yeah, stream. Okay. Well. Um. <laughs> anyway, Discord server is in my and also my about page. Anyway. Uh, I don't have any dream solvent. It's literally the only thing holding me back. That's so cruel. Do I not have any dream solvent? Maybe I do. Maybe I do. What if I did? Nope. <laughs> that says it for itself. Oh my god, that's so pain. Oh my god, I just realized that's not even... I'm not even supposed to fight child. It's supposed to be the wolf boss. Oh my god. Okay. Great. I fought Chad for no reason. Sorry, Chad. That just made you my my victim. Uh, anyway, so that's what we're doing tomorrow. We're gonna watch the Kung Fu Panda movies. I'm I was thinking of doing just the one movie, but then I was like, maybe I'll do multiple. Maybe I'll do two and three. Cause I mean, the movies are only like an hour and a half, right? And I'm starting at six p.m. and like I don't sleep that early. So like I was like, oh my god. I was like, oh maybe I should just you know binge watch them and see who'll join. But anyway. Please stop chasing me. Why do they chase you that far? Like, why? What's the reason? I climbed up this hill and everything. You're still chasing me? Like, why? Stop. Oh, he just disappeared out of thin air. That was crazy. Anyway, so yeah, that's what we're doing tomorrow. Also, what was I going to say? There's something else I was going to add on to that. Oh, yeah, my mom. Okay. I finally remembered to talk about my mom. Uh, I have a plan. Okay, basically, when I was spending time with my mom yesterday, she was like, Ash, I really want to, like, record videos and, like, do live streams. And I was like, hmm, that sounds like free content to me. So she was basically telling me, like, oh, one day I want to do a live stream with you. I think it'd be funny. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. It would be funny because, you know, she's my mom. She's funny. So I was like, yeah, why don't you come over to one of my Twitch streams one day? She's like, yeah, sure. Basically, she I had to explain to her what a Twitch stream was, which is really funny because she's only really, uh, she's only really familiar with, like, YouTube lives and, uh, 
what else? And like uh, Facebook lives and stuff like that. So like I had to explain to her what Twitch was. Anyway, that was really funny. But basically, what I'm trying to say is that she's interested in joining one of my streams someday, and I'm quite excited. I have some ideas that uh, I posted in my Discord server, and I was gonna let you guys vote on what we should do. Uh, so far, it looks like uh, people want us to rate fictional characters, which uh, I'm fine with. I mainly really wanted to do, like, it's obviously gonna be a just chatting stream, I'm not gonna game with her, she doesn't really like video games. So I was like, uh, yeah, let's go through all these ideas, and then whichever one they pick, then we'll do And she's like, okay. So, we're probably gonna rate fictional characters first, that's probably gonna be my top priority, because I don't know how long we're streaming. Uh, but if we go on for longer, and like, we start to get bored of that, then I'll do the other ideas and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, so when I told her the idea of rating fictional characters, I was thinking- first I was thinking Genshin Impact, obviously, because I was like, it'd be- I've seen those TikToks online where like, uh, like people get their parents to like, give their thoughts about Genshin characters and like, you know, rate them and stuff. But then I was like, uh, I don't think my mom would be a big fan of that. So I was like, maybe we should just talk about Marvel characters, because she does like Marvel a lot. So, what do you mean, Weekly Trish? No, I forgot I already did it this week. I am in so much pain. Okay. Uh, well, oh, well, hey, we finished farming for Ballad, which is nice. And I don't feel like doing the event quest, to be honest. So I think we're going to start with Yelan's quest. Let's go do that. Anyway, so I was thinking of, like, whoa. I was thinking of rating Marvel characters. Or, like, characters that, like, she already knows. Because I feel like she'd be more comfortable with that. But if not, and if you guys ask for it, and if she's willing to do it, then I'll be like, yeah, let's pull up some Genshin characters or something like that. Or something like that where it's, like, modern, some kind of modern, not saying that Marvel isn't modern, but, you know, like, some kind of, like, internet culture thing, you know? So, that was my plan. I just realized I have six million tabs open. Wow. <laughs> Hold on, let me fix this. I don't realize there's so much open. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do. I'm thinking we're gonna do it next weekend or something like that. Just anytime before I leave for school again. Okay, go to the second floor of. Oh yeah, I think I already. St I may have already started this quest on accident. Wow, thanks. Uh, I may have already started this on accident. I'm not sure. Go to the. Oh, literally go to the second floor. Do -do -do -do. What's up? Oh? <laughs> what a lovely surprise. Welcome. Oishi, why don't you go downstairs and get the shopkeeper to make us a fresh pot of tea? I'm hungry for some reason. I kind of want to get another piece of slice of pizza. <laughs> uh. I heard that you've been traveling all over the place recently. I would very much like to hear your adventure story. Is everything okay? Hoishin told you, didn't she? Is he sick? Don't I guess he's sick. I'm quite alright. It's just the years gradually catching up with me. Uh, as I grow older, I'm starting to find that with many things, though the mind is willing, the flesh is weak. Especially recently, I've noticed a rather drastic drop in my energy levels. I am still very much in good standing as the Tianshu today. Nevertheless, I, I really want another slice of pizza. On the hold on, I'm gonna run down and go get it. Hold on, hold on. Just... begins to decline beyond redemption. How difficult is it to transfer the Tianshu position? Oh well, you see, the Tianshu is a rather unique position among the Liu Qixing. Historically speaking, the Tianshu rarely appears in public. We stay behind the scenes, planning and giving advice. So a public selection process would not be suitable. We also want to keep any prospective Tianshu candidates free from influence by outside forces. So we tend to be as discreet as possible in their assessment and appointment. So it's not so good, it's for just pretty okay, reasons, but it, it's, it's good for now. Typically it's like a... Candidate of choice. They called it a this classic pizza. It's like cheese, and members. they drizzled like olive oil on it, and so basil. Words, it's pretty good. You pick someone, and then 
Lady Kuching, Lady Ningguang, and the other Qixing of Twink. I also got a chicken wing. Correct. Unfortunately, due to my health, I won't be able to assess every candidate myself. Not to despair, however, because I found someone exceptionally capable to act on my behalf. I thought that was Kaya. Assessment <laughs> officer. <laughs> In fact, I yeah. believe you recently became oh acquainted with her yourself. Oh? Who is it? Yeah, mama. I'm heartbroken. I thought it might take you a little longer than this to forget all about me. I would never forget you, my queen! <laughs> Jackpot. Uncle Tian here asked me to assess three candidates for him. Fancy joining me? You'll be among the first to get to know the next Tian Shu. Might be a good opportunity for you. Hmm. What do you think? It's a good opportunity. Oh, Paimon thinks so too. It can't be a bad thing to be on good terms with the new Qixing, right? All right then. Yeah. Though I gotta say, oh, Uncle Tian, you say you're into behind-the-scenes planning. My work's of the covert variety too. Don't you think I might make a good Tian Shu? Huh? Yeon, you want to be the next Tian Shu? I'm not opposed to the idea, but I suspect Ningguang wouldn't let you go very easily after how long you've been working together. So, how about this? If your investigation reveals that none of the other candidates are qualified for the position, she could just, she could just literally I'll recommend say, you for the job. She could just say, Deal. like, if she well, really wanted this position, she'd be like, take your time. Yeah, I did my investigation, she didn't. And you everyone else sucked, so pick me. Ready. Honestly? Then, have a pleasant conversation. Oh, and like how does she prove it, you know? Tea. As the new owner of this fine establishment, this runs on the house. Oh, so true. You're all set? I'm chilling. Hi, Elon. Uncle Hi. Tan seems really worn down. It's like all his energy's gone. Yeah, it may sound harsh, but Uncle Tian is past his prime. He's not cut out for this anymore. <laughs> so he's recommended three candidates. Their names are Chen Wei, Ming Bo, and Zhe Yi. Chen Wei is a wealthy entrepreneur. Ming Bo works at the Liu Wei Ministry of Civil Affairs, and Zhe Yi is focused on study and travel. Try to keep all that in mind. <laughs> of course, it doesn't really matter if you forget, since we'll be assessing them at your Okay, great, because I forgot all that while. immediately after you said it. Chenwei, Mingbo, Chiyi. Paimon should be able to remember their names, but what does the assessment involve exactly? Let's leave that until we get to your high pavilion. All right. Heads in the game, people. The stakes don't get much higher than a change in the Qixing. We can't afford to miss anything, no matter how small. Got it. They made really good dough for this pizza. All right. Go to Yuehai Pavilion to perform your inspection. Gotcha. It's over there, right? Ooh, also, while I'm off camera, that just reminded me. I finally 100 percented that and that, and I was working on this, but, you know, the closest I got was 98 and it was really annoying. And I will not even attempt to do that. <laughs> it's just too much climbing. But I finally did it. Like, it took me- no, no biggie, it only took me like a year and a half for like almost two years to do that. Also, my door's closed. There it goes. Alright. My legs are getting sore. What is wrong with this assessment officer? This is a huge occasion and I don't even get a chair. You're not getting in. You're not getting in. Sorry. I've dealt with all kinds of people in my time, but never have I been made to stand while nope. I'm waiting for an appointment. Nope. You're done. Oh, I mean, uh, I, I think it's fine. You're fine. That's called being complacent. Shut up. If you're happy to just accept the way things are, you'll never be able to change anything in the future. Oh, come on. Jeez. That's just... Now you're just being unreasonable. All right, you two. Let's not get into a big argument over this. It's not worth it. Qianwei, that was a bit uncalled for. And Mingbo, cut no. him some slack. 
We've all been standing around for a while. It's natural to be getting You irritable. can't just like sit down on a nearby look, wall like look at this. What? There's no rule saying we're obliged to stand up while we wait. So why don't we borrow some chairs from the guild nearby? Lewis, sit on the rocks. Oh my god. Uh, they're not the best quality chairs to be sure, but under the circumstances it would be better than nothing. Mm hmm. It looks like all three candidates have arrived. Yeah. Immediately remove this one. Oh, is those three? Mm -hmm. We'll meet them formally soon. Before that, let me run you through the assessment process. Mm hmm. I've split it into two stages current affairs and planning, and face to face interview. In the first stage, candidates are required to submit a manifesto for Liyue's development. In the second stage, we will ask them some questions in person. Writing a manifesto takes time, so I informed them of this requirement in advance. These are the reports they submitted. Wow! One of them is really thick! It's also worth mentioning a stipulation I gave them. Whoever is appointed as the new Tianshu will be expected to implement Ooh. their plan as put forward in their manifesto. Failing the occurrence of some cataclysmic event, they will not be permitted to change their plan. Therefore, these three piles of documents in front of us represent where each candidate stands right. on key policy issues. There's still some time. Have a skim through, get a first impression of what each person's proposing. Sure. You know what? I'm I normally wouldn't read. Decide. Just let Hold me on. know when you're done. This is a really good chicken wing. I normally wouldn't read stuff, but I'm curious. Chen Wei's manifesto addresses very commercial issues and provides some pe very penetrating analysis. Calm down! His views seem to be that uh, regulations and incentives are both indispensable. Regulations and incentives are both indispensable. Oh, I have to read it anyway. Okay, whatever. Chen Wei's manifesto covers domestic affairs, foreign affairs, and checks and balances all in great detail. The focus seems to be problem solving. It provides concise and clear solutions to various problems. It's so thick that you only have time to skim through it roughly. Uh, my vote is for him. Mingbo's uh, manifesto covers domestic affairs quite comprehensively, focusing on people's livelihoods. Oh, that's nice too. The core principle seems to be the greater good means a world that works for everyone. That's really nice too. I'm tied between both of them. This one's really nice because, you know, it's very detailed and it has like exactly like what he's going to do. And this one's nice because it's very idealistic and positive. Anyway. Finished, huh? What did you think? Um. Everyone took it very seriously. Yeah, I wonder why, Paimon. <laughs> of course they did. They have the chance to be picked as the new Tianshu, so you can bet they're putting their best foot forward. And keep in mind, whoever gets in has to execute their plan as written. Nobody wants to have any regrets. What do you think? <laughs> That's for me to know and you to find out. We can talk more after the interviews. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Sorry. We'll see the candidates now. Let's do one at a time. Start with Chen Wei. Worst guy. Yes, ma'am. Worst. Oh? So you two are the assessment officers, are you? Shut up. I had assumed that given the great import of this situation, Lady Ningguang would perhaps be assessing us in person. I certainly hadn't imagined I'd be seeing two entirely unfamiliar faces. I trust you've read through my manifesto? I'd be more than happy to clarify any details Shut you find difficult up. to grasp. Oh my god. It was written with an expert audience in mind, after It's giving all. annoying. Mind your tone, mister! Yeah! Relax. It wasn't intended as a personal slight against anyone in particular. I was simply <laughs> you stating a fact. Man, your communication skills. Cloud retainer? I didn't Do even you say know that. This adeptus? Oh, yes, I remember now. You must be the traveler that people are constantly talking about. And what about With your it? Your sterling reputation, you must have a respectable level of erudition. Perhaps you will be able to understand the concepts I have put forward. Yeah, although I shouldn't get my hopes up. Girl, you shouldn't get your hopes up either, to be honest. Oh, is it my turn? I'm a fan. I'm a Mingbo, yes. Mingbo fan. Please, introduce yourself. I'm, uh, Mingbo. I work in the Ministry of Civil Affairs. I'm a fan. I've worked there for, um, 
Nine years, five months, and three days. In that time, I've handled uh, 2,347 cases. We need some more confidence, though. I have 12 active cases at the moment. They should be concluded in uh, 16 days. My current work is related to urban planning, and I'm also responsible for uh, auditing the accounts. To mm. be more precise, there are three parts to the accounts, namely... Uh, is it just Pine yeah. or is he not very good at public speaking? I think he should stay where he is. You know what? Let's leave the self-introduction there and move on to some questions. Oh, okay. Sorry. Forces her way. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. <laughs> okay, this is my lie, this is my topic. I'm a little now. nervous. What would you like to know? You're here to assess me, so ask away, and I'll answer your questions to the best of my ability. Your manifesto is very wide in its scope, but you don't seem to be personally involved in many of the specific fields. How can you be sure that you have the ability to put your plan into action? That was blunt. Very fair question. I completely understand where you're coming from. But I'm confident in my plan. I've visited many different places, talked to lots of people with far more expertise than myself, and my manifesto is the conclusion of these efforts. Of course, two different problems can be interconnected in very complicated this ways. This chicken wing is really and you might good. Reach two very I almost complained that it was too salty, but it's like which perfect. One you're focusing on. What I've tried to do is strike a balance. In other words, present an optimal solution to all the problems as a whole. Mm -hmm. How do you plan to determine whether you are right or wrong about your proposed solution being the optimal one? A great question. Well, I'd start by having my colleagues and the secretaries of the UAHI Pavilion evaluate any proposals before implementation. Post-implementation, it would all come down to the results. If it turned out that my judgment was to blame for poor results, I would take responsibility. All right. Hmm. Nice answer. All right, next question. He's my top vote. He I'm a fan. He's like a great guy. Everything he said was thoughtful and logical, and he was just a pleasure to listen to. I agree. Here's my take on what we just learned. As you saw, Chen Wei is highly knowledgeable. He proposes many excellent ideas in his manifesto, I don't care. which effectively target the big issues. I don't care. But he is very proud and incredibly stubborn. He doesn't care much about other people's feelings. Ningbo's plan is more thorough and more measured. You can tell he's meticulous in his work. I think he should stay with the with but where he, he already is. Otherwise, polar opposites. Ningbo is not very articulate and comes across as very timid in conversation. He should stay. Perfect summary. Paimon couldn't agree more. Last Trap. but not least, Jur E. His manifesto is full of pertinent details, his He's methodology my number one is pick. sound, and his proposals cover a broad mm -hmm. range of fields, which is quite a rare feat. Uh -huh. The depth he goes into in each and every area means it can only be a product of painstaking work. Plus, he is modest and good at dealing with people. Yeah, I'm a stand. But what really interests me is that many of his views happen to coincide with Uncle Tien's. Having someone like Jur E take the position would certainly put Uncle Tien's mind at rest. That's a good sign. All right, let's pick him. We'll see. Let's go back and report to Uncle Tien. <laughs> She's going to be like, all of them are bad. <laughs> pick me. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, I'm a Jur E fan. Myself. That chicken wing looks so good. I really want to eat another one. But the other one, I'm really... Okay. I'm weirdly picky about chicken wings. I only like, uh, I don't like the wings itself. I only like the drumsticks or like boneless. I just hate anything that isn't just the wing. You know, the one that has like two bones. No, I just don't like the two bones. They're hard to eat. Tell Uncle Chan about the assessment process. <coughs> I see. Then it's more or less as I anticipated. All right. Then let me ask this. The ideas in Jur E's manifesto are very similar to your own. Is there any particular reason behind this? Oh, I didn't want to say anything when I gave you the list of candidates. For fear of affecting your judgment. But I can tell you now. Those three candidates have all studied under uh -huh. me in the past. It's only natural that all they of share them? some similarities with me. 
But Xin Wei went on to focus on his business, and Ming Guo has always been occupied with his work at the Ministry of Civil Affairs. Of all of them, Jerry was with me for the longest duration. So real. Oh, so how did you get to know them all, Uncle Tian? Chen Wei was referred to me by an old friend. Ming Guo came to my attention in the course of my work. <laughs> As for Jerry, that <laughs> uh, was pure happenstance. We first met while fishing. <laughs> Gradually, as we got to know each other, we started discussing all sorts of topics. Jury came from a poor family, and his parents died when he was very young. But he was a gifted student and a fast learner. He reminded me of a younger version of myself. So I started out giving him a few words of advice when we were out fishing and noticed how quickly he got on. Sounds like he's family to you. Right. And now, all of a sudden, Quite. he's grown into a mature young man. It's a joy to see, but it also gets one thinking. The young are growing up, and I am growing old. How time flies. No one can escape the cycle of life. I don't know, Uncle Tian. You still seem in pretty good shape to me. You might have another few years of work left in you, don't you think? <laughs> Jeez. Let him retire. <laughs> you. <laughs> There's really no need to console me. Having less energy than I used to isn't a, such a bad thing. It just means I finally have a good reason to retire. Spend my days doing what old men like me should be doing. Going fishing Don't fish whenever it. I feel like it. <laughs> There's nothing quite like fishing to pass the time. <laughs> Women love me fresh fish, fish. fish. Ah, they My mouse pad is really breaking apart. I didn't even notice that. With wow. Barely any preparation required. Fresh fish soup. Mmm, sounds tasty. Doesn't it? <laughs> also, some time ago, Jerry purchased a very special recipe from an old fisherman. When we've been no fishing, fisherman. Recently, Jerry always brings some extra ingredients he prepared in advance. Ah, uh, the addition of these makes the soup taste even more wonderful. That flavor makes for a fond memory. But at my age, who knows how many more chances I have left to taste it again? Very many chances. I'm sure he dies next year. Oh, <laughs> to try it let's get back to the matter at hand uncle tian we've reported back do you have a verdict mm -hmm. i appointed you as the assessment officer and i trust your judgment had you not asked me why jury's ideas were so similar to mine i was not going to mention my history with any of them this decision must be guided by what is fair and right Please disregard all other considerations and make your final decision only after a thorough Did, review of each. Is it not like glaringly obvious who we should pick? Like, remember, what? you must be thorough. Are we gonna find out Understood. that like Jerry's like a, a war criminal or something like that? Let's go talk somewhere else. Bye -bye, like, Uncle yeah, he looks cool up front, but that. secretly he's a murderer. <laughs> like, what? Yeah, literally. <laughs> manifesto was written well, and he's the best speaker. Yan's gonna be like, what if he was Easy. lying? Let's not rush. There's no time limit for this assessment. Huh? So, are you gonna give them more tests or something? I mean, no, nothing like that. The assessment itself is complete. But let me give you Ooh. a word of advice. Things are not always as they appear. Now we speak nervous. The biggest no-no in intelligence work is to only get information from the person of interest themselves. The truth is almost always hidden beneath many layers of deception. You have to get information through many different channels. All right, that's fair. Wen Yuan, Shanghua. Yes? <laughs> are they just groveling Lady on the floor? <laughs> what are your orders? Look! Who are they? Where did they come from? 
around. Literally, where? Did they scare you? These two are Wenyan and Shanghua. They work for me. As my trusted assistants, they are always standing guard nearby. They also perform various assignments as required. Shanghua is a business expert who gets his information <laughs> by trading. When you key animation. Normally they just now. sit there. And there's also Wu Pei, who's not here right now. That meathead must have been out there on sea surveillance for some time now. Is he all right? I seem to remember that he can't swim. <sighs> Nothing can take that guy down. Certainly not a little wind and waves. Shanghua, visit all the commerce guilds and look into Qianwei's background. Wen Yuan, go to the Ministry of Civil Affairs and look through Mingbuo's work files. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma um, so what about Ju Yi? He doesn't need a background check. I just we're gonna pick him. Jiri. I just I'm just curious about well, the rest. <laughs> obviously, as the most promising candidate, we will be investigating him ourselves. Yeah, that's fair. Let's go to the docks first. Lots of people passing through there. You can find out all kinds of things. Is her glove? If we're looking for information. Why don't what we is that? Why is there like a the stripe of purple on her glove? I hate. That's they always, in every idea. single Leeway quest Let's where we have to find out that. information, we always go to pull my I don't understand. Alright. Let's go. Go to the North Wharf to look for Bolai. Hi, cat. Hello, little guy. Little man. Look, it looks like its tail is like wrapped around Zhongli's foot. That's so cute. Wait, how about this? Oh, no. Oh, you're so cute. Okay, anyway. <laughs> Let's go look for Bolai. Bolai. Huh? What's Bolai doing here to Look, your asking price <laughs> for this batch is just too high. I can't buy in at this price. How am I supposed to turn a profit? Oh, we got garlic Come on, <laughs> hanging out of his back. I'm telling you, this is the single best batch of Sunsetias ever. You won't find anyone who disputes that. I accidentally dropped one into a well, and even the water turned sweet. Even so... <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll let you in on a little secret. The boss of Second Life also Ooh. wants to buy from me. Uh oh. I haven't responded yet. Uh oh. If you won't take him, I'll just have to partner with them instead. And neither of us wants that. What do you mean, neither of us? Okay, well, when you put it that way, I'll accept your asking price. I'll take all your stock. Dang. Don't sell a single one. Duh, what if it was lying? Life. Oh, what are you doing here? What's up? Uh, and to be clear, these sunsetias are mine. I got to them first. Don't get any I don't ideas. even see- a Girl, what sunsetias? You're not even holding them. <laughs> Knock yourself out. Actually, we want to ask you about a guy called Juri. Have you heard of him? Jerry? Yes, he's quite well known. For being a mass murderer! A Just kidding. Him. <laughs> they say he was born into poverty. His parents died when he was young, and he was treated cruelly by the local community. One of his neighbors was terribly rude to him all the time, but Jerry never retaliated. And when his neighbor went bankrupt, he even helped support the family. He returned cruelty with kindness. Oh, injustice with peace offerings. A gentleman of talent and character, <laughs> and... Uh, oh, how did I not notice him sooner? In fact, maybe I'm not too late. If I could hire him to be the brand standing ambassador so for still. Wanyo Boutique. Oh, he sounds like a decent man. We can finally breathe a sigh of relief. Why are you asking about him anyway? Uh, you aren't a... Looking for a brand ambassador too, are you? And what if I was? Well, what would you do? In that case, the higher bidder takes the... Hmm? Ah, that's Jerry right over there. Why don't we go and talk to him? Where? Where? To him! It's him, all right. Looks like he's chatting with Lean Long. Come on, let's follow them and listen in. Try not to let him see. Oh my god, I hate these. I'll just I hate these. Oh my god, I hate these. I hate these. I hate these. I hate these. Don't try and cut me out of this. I've never gotten these stealth things on the first try. I'm just saying. Never. I've never gotten these on the first try. Never in my life. So, you're looking to buy a wineware set? 
Oh, now I can see that you're a connoisseur, so I won't bother trying to con you. I trust you understand our shop quite well? Don't look back, don't look back here, don't look back here, don't look back here. The ah. truth is, an old friend of mine who likes to have a drink. You don't see me. Then. You don't see me. How do you even see me? How do you even see me? How do you see me? How do you see me? How do you see me? How? But How? Doesn't care for needless extravagance. So I thought I might buy him a set of high quality fakes. How very thoughtful of you. Leave it to me then. Come and collect it at Shigu Antiques whenever is convenient. Go, 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 keep going, keep going, keep going. How am I far away now? I don't Thank understand you very much, this. Ms. Long. It's my pleasure, Mr. Jerry. He's not even looking over here. Don't even. For someone of your standing to still keep up with their old friends, it's nice to see. I'll be sure to pick out a good set for you. You can count on me. That was it. Oh my. We shouldn't jump to conclusions just yet. Let's go check out the wharf where he usually goes fishing. Uh, this plot twist better to? knock me out of my socks. Wait, you're not if there even is one. Maybe I am. Oh. But hey, if I do become Tianshu, I'll look out for you guys. Oh. You'll be able to try all the finest food for free. How does that sound? So easily fooled. So easily fooled. It's so funny. Okay. Dog, Yelan, come on. I mean, I, I get I get where she's coming from. I get where she's coming from. But like... But like... I mean, if worse comes to worse, can she just fire him? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Or like, maybe he like plagiarized all of that writing stuff. You know what I mean? I'm trying to think of like what pl the plot twist would be. I'm really trying to think because I have no idea. Is as busy as ever. I hear the anglers yeah, there's really nobody around, so true. Fish to the nearby fishmongers. Hmm. Well, let's see what Uncle Soon has to say. Maybe it's because I don't have a crowd density on high. Does that change anything? Crowd density high. Does that do anything? Are there gonna be people? Yeah, yeah, really busy today, Yelan. Just extremely busy. Like, whoa! Look how many people are here. Whoa! Oh my god! Kai! What's up? I thought you ended your stream. What in the world? Also, why is the chat all the way down there? <laughs> what in the world? I thought you ended your stream, like, a half an hour ago. What? What? Anyway, hi! Hi everyone from Koi Stream. Welcome. Hi. What would you like to buy today? VR stall. See, I was trying to in my head I was trying to think like what you how to pronounce your name. And I was like, Ristol. So I'm just gonna say VR stall to be make sure. But hi, thank you for following. Oh my god. Hello, Pinheaded. Hello. Hi Koi, because I had to delete the other one. I had oh yeah, that's true, that's true, that's true. Oh oh I was right, it's Bristol. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right? What if I'm wrong? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're playing copyrighted music. That's right. That's right. That's right. I gotcha. Welcome. What would you like to buy today? Uh, we're here to put some information. We're going to ask you about Sorry someone. Sorry to interrupt. We're actually members of the uh, Liyue Anglers Association. <laughs> and a we terrible just wanted to line, ask please. a few questions about someone. We've heard about this young man called Jur Yi, who's supposed to be a fantastic fisherman. Just wondering if you happen to- Should I introduce myself? I just realized, like, I i haven't done, like, streams in a long time. I forgot, like, my, like, little protocol of, like, stuff like this, where it's like, Oh my god, thank you for rating. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hey, everyone from Kai Stream. My name is Ari, and today we're going to be- We're already playing, sorry. We're, we're already playing Genshin Impact, as you can see. Right now, we're doing Yelan Starcast. OMG. I love Yelan. Also, did you know that I love women? Yeah, that's my introduction. That's my introduction right there. Welcome, guys. <laughs> Whoa! Yelan made up a whole fake 
fake identity. Girl, she obviously sounded like she was lying. Come on. <laughs> He's been making quite a name for us. Unconvincing lie. I've got some friends who travel all over the place, and they tell me everywhere they go, they meet someone who's heard of him. Dude, I never thought that these like big fishes were like real. I mean, I knew that they're real, obviously, but I didn't know that like, like you could literally go like a, f a few minutes off the coast and just catch a tuna, like a tuna this big, until my dad did it. I saw a picture of him holding up like a big fish. I don't think it's a tuna, but it was like a really big fish. And I was like, jeez. And he cut out the fish and then brought it home. I was like, what? And the fish was really good, by the way. Hmm. Apparently, he had a rather tough time. Kind of terrifying, but up. they taste delicious. Several jobs alongside his studies to make ends meet. How does that saying go? What doesn't kill you makes doesn't you kill you makes you strong. Well, if there's anything to that logic, he's sure to be phenomenally successful one day. Yeah, yeah. we think so. But I'm afraid your Anglers Association might be in for a disappointment. <laughs> Why? Uh oh. Why is that? Uh oh. He's good at a lot of things, but fishing uh. <laughs> isn't one. I'm waiting for this plot twist. I'm thinking like he is a criminal. His well, something like that. Some plot twist like that, because that's what it feels like it's leading up to. But equally, nothing to write home about. If you're looking to recruit some new members, though, I do know a few top anglers I could put you in touch with. No, I'm good. Oh, sounds fantastic. I've got a couple of other <laughs> things to attend to so right fake. now, though, so <sighs> why don't I come back some other time and we can chat over a drink? She also sure obviously... <laughs> See you. She also obviously does I'll not look like a fish <laughs> at all. Come on. Come on. Let's keep asking around. Let's do it. I wish that... Okay. Continue looking for clues at the wharf. I wish that, uh, like, look at that. Uh, I didn't mean to. Okay. Well, I guess here's, here's a clue. Some fish. It's three hundred for one or three for one thousand. Three. Wow, that sounds really cheap, you actually. Hurry. When they're gone, they're gone. Hello, we're from the look at that Society fish texture. for Fish Price Research. Ooh, that, We'd just like to ask a few questions. Such a liar. Wow. I was gonna say. Again. The other day, I'm sorry I'm like talking over this story, but I mean it's kind of self-explanatory what they're gonna do. But anyway, the other day my dad and I went to the sushi restaurant. It's probably the oh my god, the sushi was so good. First of all, it was really big, like really big servings. Like they give us sashimi. You know how sashimi is like normally like if you like put your thumb and your uh, index finger together, it's kind of like that big usually. Like each slice is that big. Nah, this sashimi. Take your take your. Okay, I no, that's a little too big. I you take. I haven't heard anything about <laughs> trying to like make a comparison for the. Prices, take, take your 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 your. Okay, take your pinky and your thumb, and then you see that like circumference of like that's like that like touches your palm too. That's how big the sashimi was. But like, but like take that and then like and then like times it by two, and that's or like three actually. There's three pieces. That's how much sashimi they gave us. It was so crazy, and like the sushi rolls were like humongous. They're so big. I had to take like two bites to eat them. That's how big they were. They were so big. They were not two. It was like more like two. Like I could do it in one. What are we talking about right now? Oh, he's poor. Oh no. He oh, can afford to eat and everything, but you'll often see him haggling with others over just a few more. Oh no! What a big crime. He's poor. Anyway, I had to take like. I could it's eat it with like one bite, but like I'd anyway, be like choking because so my throat is just not that big. You know what I mean? But that sushi was big. But it was really good. It was really good. I took like two seconds to finish that entire thing. And we ordered like the one of those big like boat plates, it's like really big. Dog, it was so good. So good. I'm thinking about it. Like I want fish now because we keep looking at the fish, and I'm like, oh, I can literally just walk downstairs and go make some sushi. Like I really want fish now. And nobody's oh, but I ate so much yesterday, and I'm kind of full. But like, I just want That's fish awesome. to eat fish, you know? No, I meant fish for, for I just want fish for me and to eat fish, record, not for fish to eat fish, you feel? The, price of my fish. the more times you say it, the less convincing <laughs> it becomes. So is he just saying that he's poor? Doesn't have a lot of Mora to his name. Okay, let's keep going. Yeah, oh no, he's poor. He's not suited to be ambassador. Come on, Yelan. I'm just kidding. I love her, okay, guys? I'm just joking around. Hey, Dunsh it's oh, you guys. Wait, what's the phrase? Oh, yeah. Honored to meet you. Oh, yeah. What brings you to me? Why well, have a, a whole is, knife attached to your belt? To this territory. We heard tell of a great martial artist. 
Master Dugu, who knows everything there is to know. Hence, we sought you out to ask for your guidance. Really? People said I know everything. You are there crushing is to know. this kid's dreams, Yala. Of course. <laughs> we also heard that Master Dugu is a kind oh, that's why and virtuous he has swordsman there. who never turns away anyone who comes with questions. Great. Uh -uh. So what do you wish to know? Nothing happens on this street that I don't know about. Uh, now she's lying to a kid. Yeah, I guess it's a white lie. So, Master Dugu. Have you heard of one by the name of Jur E? Sure have. You mean that guy that all the grown ups are talking about these days? Oh. I've heard many tales of Jur E. For example, <laughs> um. This is so me. <laughs> I can't remember. That is so me. Because it's nothing that important. I prefer stories about sword fighting heroes. So he doesn't do combat? Oh, like. I can okay. completely understand that. Then let me ask you this. Do you remember roughly when the grown-ups started talking about She Jiri? reminds me a lot of Ningguang. Oh yeah, I know that. It was about two like or three Ningguang's months story quest thing. Before that, people always used to talk Whoa. about in a kind Ooh. of Ooh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, ding, ago, ding 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 ding, that's a red flag. Started to like him. I see. Sometimes he gives me candies. So I'm glad that people are starting to like him mm, now. I see. I Just see. I thought. Huh? What do you mean? Girl, you can't tell me that you I figured mean, all this out at just the beginning. As I thought, Master Dugu is indeed as kind and virtuous as the legends claim. Who? <laughs> I'm not that great. Oh yeah, one other thing. These days, there's a lot of people I've never seen before talking about jury stories in the street. They seem like nice people. Are you gonna tell me he's Definitely. gonna be like? Don't tell me you're gonna. He's gonna be like, oh, they're Fatui. Right. Don't so tell next me. Next time I see them, I'll say hi. And I guess I can share some of my Actually, that would kind of make sense because his hat isn't from Certainly. Weaver, right? You can I remember also correctly? tell my friend in Yenshang Tea House about what they're up to. I'm sure my friend would also like to say hi to them. Hi. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Thank you, ma'am and well, tea. Oof. Fare thee well, Master Dugu. Until we meet again. Any of that huh. sounds strange to you? I'm completely lost right now. Strange? What was strange about it? Juyi seems to have a great reputation. Did you not hear how he just said that? Okay. Him, and Dugu Shuo seems to like him too. True. But the issue is, where did his sudden celebrity come from? It almost seems too good to be true. Sudden? Too good to be true. So he Shut returns up. cruelty with kindness and had to work to support his studies. These are the kinds of things that make someone well known in their hometown. But Uncle Soon said even his friends who travel far and wide hear about him wherever they go. That's a little over the top, if you ask me. Do you remember what Dugu Shuo said about Jur E's stories? Clearly, they left him with a good impression of the guy. But beyond that, he wasn't interested in the details. That's the reaction I would expect from any normal person. Plus, there's the fact that all this praise of Jur E has only been happening within the last two or three months. His childhood, his studies, the thing with his neighbor. None of these are recent events. So why are these stories only going around now? When you put it like that, it is kind of strange. Of course, if that's all there was to it, I wouldn't look into it any further. Jur E was born into a poor family. Paying people to get his stories out there is within the rules of the game as far as I'm concerned. The problem is, do you remember what Uncle Gao said about him? He's stayed poor his whole life. Everything he's earned, he's either spent on studying, hmm. traveling, or paying off debts. Maybe. I don't think he has the mora to pay for a publicity He's working campaign. with someone. Right. And that changes everything. It can mean a powerful faction is trying to gain influence over the Liu Okay. Alright, Alan, I doubted scenario. you a little bit, but I mean, I, well, well, I didn't really doubt her. It's just that, like, dang, like, she's doing so much. How did you get all this? How, where'd Someone you get this hunch from? From the beginning. Over the that sounds serious. What should we do? Even if we ask Jiri about it, surely there's no way he'd admit it. First, we need to find out who's supporting him. Don't worry, I've got a plan. Remember the current affairs and planning stage of the assessment? Since the successful candidate is duty-bound to implement their plan after taking office, 
Their manifesto tells us their stance on key issues. Don't tell me I have to read it. Jure, must be seeking to benefit from his actions no. after his appointment. So, uh, okay. Uh, yay! We're dealing with. I love reading. Let's get back to Yen Shang. Yay! Woo! My favorite part of this game is reading, reading every single line of every single quest. And I just love reading. I love it. It's my favorite. Woo! Oh my god. <laughs> I really don't. I really hope we don't actually have to read through it to find details. I pro we probably won't have to. But like, what if this is the one time that Genshin changes their mind? They're like, actually, yeah, you do. Oh, uh, this right here. Yeah, it looks really weird with all these extra people just sitting around. Jur E's manifesto covers a huge range of topics. Looking for details that don't add up will be like trying to find a needle in a haystack. I'll divide the reports into two piles. You take one, I'll take the other. When we're finished, we'll put our heads together. Officially, right. the assessment is already over, and I'll be expected to announce the results before long. So we have Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Else, Uncle, let's any do evidence it. he's Okay, 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 let's do it. Uh, Jur E's manifesto. Uh, <laughs> don't tell me it's like, don't tell me it's gonna pop up like these dialogue messages and not just like a full page. No! <laughs> okay, due to a variety of factors, sea storms have- I didn't even get to read that. I guess we- I suggest we set up a special patrol unit to deal with sea, mon sea monsters. Fleets should consist of falling. Covers various changes to coastal defense. Okay, rock. Much of Liyue's folklore suggests that Rex Lapis left a great deal of wealth in the mountains of Liyue. However, due to obstacles hindering the excavation progress, the academy projects have been up. The workers of Black Hole Forge have been idled near the Golden House for a long time now. They should be given first refusal if any. They should be given first refusal if any suitable projects arrive. Of course, my intel is showing the ruinous first soon. Okay. Roads. The treacherous terrain around Huaguang at Stone Forest and Qingyun Peak means the area has weak transport links. The sheer mountain peaks are connected only by rope bridges. They are dangerous to walk on and wholly unsuited to transportation of goods. These areas are rich in medicinal herbs and ore deposits, building a road network around them. Something, something, something. You sound like you want to... This sounds suspicious. Covers plans to build roads and bridges. Okay. Oh, this reading is good. Oh. We didn't even read that much, Paimon. Come on, that was like three sentences. Yeah, it looks like I'm the first one back, as usual. Look at the cat. <laughs> so cute. Oh, hey! It's one of Yehan's little helpers, Shenhua! If you're back, that means... That means you finished investigating Chenwei, right? You betcha. I visited you all betcha. the Commerce Guilds and gathered a wealth of information. Every time they asked me to leave, but I always had another trick up my sleeve. Don't drag this out. Just tell us your findings. Yes, Lady Yelan. To summarize my findings, most people who've had interactions with Qianwei will start out complaining about how proud and arrogant he is, but then go on to give a generally positive appraisal of him. The young master of the Feiyun Commerce Guild said that Qianwei appears arrogant, but he's very scrupulous, scrupulous in the way he works. Once he signs a contract with somebody, he treats them fairly regardless of their background. Scrupulous. Diligent. Okay. Is it possible that his reputation is fake? Is there any way you can check the accounts of the businesses under his name? In theory, that should be very difficult. But here's the thing. I asked around and found out that almost all of Qianwei's accounts are open to the public. Where he buys from and sells to should be confidential business information, but he doesn't seem interested in protecting it at all. Chen Wei often sees business opportunities that others don't, but once he's made enough mora off of it, it's like he gets sick of it and releases all of his trade secrets. It's like he wants people to know that they still can't <laughs> beat him, even if he shares all of his secrets. The fact that someone like that can still make mora is pretty infuriating when you think about it. What a I mean, guy. It's like he's not doing business to make mora. Just because he wants to. Instead... To validate his theories. No wonder his manifesto contains so many insights. It's all the result of his first-hand experimentation. I'm back! Huh? Ah, how come you're here? <laughs> Why do you think? Obviously, because I possess superior skills, and I'm always one step ahead of the competition. Well, when you're the competition, at least. You... 
Whatever. I'm not getting into an argument with you. If I hadn't had something else to take care of on the way, I would have been back long before you. Lady Yela, I have finished investigating Mingbua. Well, we're all... The Ministry right, of go. Civil Affairs says that Mingbua struggles to get his words out. Uh -huh, we're going to speedrun this. You can pretty much have a new opinion. The ministry, I don't believe so. so. Mingbua is, according to Miss Yu, the Ministry often gets I want to play the game. That's why I'm rushing through this now. Final look at uh, projects before they're oh, and oh, also, no, that's not there was one someone in the Ministry who was lying and cheating to try to advance their career. Terrifying when he loses his temper? Like I said before. Thank you both. You're free to go now. Okay, so between them, I think I would. Okay, I know I hate him. I so, would pick the arrogant guy. Reading the manifesto. Because I think the other guy is good for the good civil life. whatever he works for. I think, in my opinion, so I feel like he's a good asset to whoever mm -hmm. he works for. So he should stay. Immediate problems looking at the individual entries. The only one that strikes me as a little unusual. Is the Chengshu pool so you're telling me I read all that, all those huge, th huge three sentences for th for nothing? Chengshu hmm. pool has hmm. always been home to many secrets. Plus, Ejdaha once wrought havoc there, so there are even more secrets buried deep underground. At some point, a rumor began to go around that there is great treasure buried beneath Chengshu pool. A long time ago, Ooh, my mom wants to watch the, the Elvis Presley movie. A mining team conducted an exploratory excavation there. So, did they find any treasure? Dun, 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 None. The ruin was completely I like this song. impenetrable. The only way they could have gotten through the solid rock would have been by blowing it open with a special kind of explosive. The technology wasn't mature enough at that time. Jur E's manifesto focuses on solving problems. And this treasure hunt seems extremely still. Hmm. This one fact alone doesn't tell us much. Everyone wants to get their hands on the excavation project treasure. Did we read anything similar in our half of the manifesto? Did we? What was? What <laughs> it was? Oh yeah. Sure. Said the oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. I remember. Should get right a first refusal if any suitable projects come up. I remember now. now. Well. That makes everything much clearer. So Jur Does that mean the Blackcliff No, not likely. I've looked into the Black. Oh, they're people? Before. I thought this was they like aren't a thing. Involved with any powerful factions at present. They do possess some specialized explosives. Still, uh -huh. since the clues are pointing toward the Black I have no idea what this is. Is this chasm? No? What in the world is Blackcliff Forge? I've never heard of this. I mean, I've heard of Blackcliff weapons. What about Juri? Is there another side to him too? I feel like I should know what this is. I guess I don't. Da -da. This is the Blackcliff Forge. Okay, so it is a oh, it is a place. I see. Nothing, no happening. Nothing, no happening. <laughs> <laughs> From the back, it looks like a ledger, but it seems they also use it as a site log. What the heck we is don't a know ledger? It, but it's interesting, don't you think? All these words I don't it's know. Ledger. Who could have sent them? Ledger definition. That's why I spell definition. A book uh, or of financial accounts. I see. What was the other word that I was looking up? Scrup scrupulous, scrupulous, and I was like, whoa! Why did my voice get? <laughs> How did my voice get like that? It's like scrupulous and it meant like diligent or something like that. Uh, whoa, why is my voice doing that? That's so weird. I hate when that happens. Do you think they're suspicious? <clears throat> yes. Look, it says right there, one of them's already been promoted to team leader. Uh. At this rate, by the time the Qing Shu Pool redevelopment plan is ready to roll, they'll be the technical backbone of the team. That'll give them the chance to take a lot of liberties. They can copy any secret texts or steal any treasure they find underground. Imagine if we didn't suspect anything. By the time Jur E recommends the Blackcliff Forge for the excavation project, at most we would maybe do a fresh background check on the place. No red flags if all they did was change some key staff. And even if we decided to vet the staff individually, they'd have had more than enough time by then to come up with fake identities. That's the advantage of planning this far in advance. <laughs> it was a clever move. When you put it like that, it all makes sense. If we hadn't found this out, so 
someone else would she looks so treasure. pissed. So, who's really behind all this? That's a question for the newcomers. But let's start. Okay. This is interesting. Uh, excuse us. We want to ask you about the newcomers. <sighs> you want them to teach you or something? I gotta say, these newcomers are in tip-top shape. Fast learners, too. They're picking up all the skills unbelievably fast. My only complaint is that they're always going out drinking at night. But they never let us join them. I guess oh, they just need some time to adjust. I'm sure we'll get to know each other over time. Huh. They go out drinking. This area isn't exactly renowned for the nightlife. I'm guessing it's a long trip to the nearest tavern. You got that right. They tell me they go all the way back to Liwe Harbor to drink at Wanmin Restaurant. That is not a far it walk. after work today, so they actually stuck around at the site for a while. But as soon as the rain stopped, they went out drinking again right away. Hey, you're only young once, right? I say, if they can hack it, let them at it. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Let's go talk somewhere else. That truly is not a long walk. Like, I would... <laughs> Looks Come like on. our hunch was on the Mora. These newcomers are very suspicious. Drinking in Liyue Harbor, huh? Some cover story. I'll wager they've been going to intelligence updates. Good thing it rained today. It means they'll leave footprints. I doubt they'd give themselves away that easily, but let's follow them and try our luck. Her voice is just velvet. So pretty. Uh, okay. Follow the footprints. Yeah, if I might, I can see that. No way. They went that way. See, it's these footprints are heading towards Leo Harbor. It's not that long a walk. Just as I thought, they didn't go to Leo Harbor. They went that way. Stop with this. Where in the world am I going? <laughs> the footprints stop here. But, judging from the direction, I'm guessing their destination was that abandoned house. Investigate the abandoned camp. These stripes in the dirt were likely made by a bamboo mat. This means someone slept here, but the bamboo mat is nowhere to be seen now. A fire that burned out. Something was burned here not long ago. Okay. Strange traces. It looks like the, there may have been a fight here, but it's hard to say for certain. This was the work of a professional, but who? Girl. You find a fresh fruit pit, a fresh fruit pit in the pile of leaves. It seems like someone was here recently, but I can't find any more clues. Looks like we were too late. This has got to be where the newcomers rendezvous with whoever they're working for. But all the evidence has been destroyed. Look at these ashes. Someone was burning documents not long before we arrived. Could there be anything left? Maybe the wind could have blown the fire out before. The odds of that <laughs> okay. are very yeah, no. <laughs> it's practically impossible. Why don't we wait for them? We can't I count, on, count that. on that. Yeah. To me, that says that whoever. Darn! Make no mistake. I smelled something peculiar. Those newcomers probably thought they'd be safe as long as they burned the letters. But what they failed to consider is no that No way. Oh, come on. Regions produce different odors when they're burned. No way you just really? know this off the top of your head. I don't can't smell anything. Do you smell anything? I smell a very gentle fragrance. There is a certain place with a freezing cold climate. Uh, there's nothing but uh, ice as far as the eye yeah, can see. Yeah, I wonder. Hmm. Some wealthy people there put floral fragrance in their ink as a way of injecting a little romance into their writing. Uh -huh. When that fragrant ink is burned, this is the exact odor that it leaves behind. See how I called exactly. it from the beginning? The evidence will soon be blown away by the wind, so it's nothing we can arrest anyone with. But it's all I need. Now I know who we're dealing with. I can plan our next move. Lady Yelon! Oh, thank goodness I finally found you. I thought I'd never see you again. Um, <laughs> who are you? Um, don't be alarmed. This is Upei, 
He's Wen Yuan and Shang Hua's colleague. I sent him to look into Zhu Yi's regular contacts. Since Zhu Yi likes fishing, Wu Pei thought he might know some of the fishermen and sailors, so he took a boat out to sea to ask around. I left him a note at Yan Shang Tea House telling him to look for me at Black Cliff Forge when he got back. If there had been huh. so, what did you find out at sea? Let's see it. Forgive my incompetence. I, oh. I asked all the fishermen multiple times when okay. I got back. I heard that you. Uh huh. Well, Uncle Tian said that Zhu Yi wanted. Uh -huh. What? No, that's not possible. It's absolutely not possible. Lady Yelan, I'm telling you, I spoke to every single fisherman out there, and none of them mentioned anything about a recipe. Interesting. Oh. Uh, I wonder how that even more wonderful fish it's soup. It's not came a out. recipe. Fish soup? What fish soup? Nothing. Our priority right now is to find a way to get our hands on some solid evidence. Well, any suggestions? Uh. No, because we don't. This. Hmm. Not a bad idea. Upe, what do you think? Because, like, Honestly, what if they never I've come back here? I've already tried following Jury, but the guy's too cautious. Never meets with anyone suspicious. But we're not suspicious. Okay, he knows us. Some tailings out. No, we'll oh, still wait, no, he, no, she was saying but send first, someone else. We need to do some groundwork. Groundwork? When you've worked in intelligence for a long time, you'll understand that no one can stay on high alert forever. Especially when he thinks he's about to win. Tomorrow morning, I'll announce his victory at your high pavilion. Take a guess what you think he'll do next. Be sure to arrive on time. Interesting. Isn't that crazy? I was like, yeah, what if he's like Fatui? Like at the very beginning, I'm like, no, what if Fatui? And then he actually is, or he, we think that he is. That's crazy. I'm a psychic. No, I'm just kidding. I just. <laughs> A lot of these stories have have a pattern of like, oh, something bad is going on. It's the Fatui. Oh, the following day. Okay. What is that? Oh, that's the. I got it. This is. I love Liyue so much. However much that Liyue is my favorite nation, above every everything else. Lovely way. What do you a high pavilion to announce your results? Here we go. Here we go. I really want to wish right now. I could use her in this one now. I know. I want to wish for some reason. I was like, what if I did a standard pull again? Because last time I did, I got a five star and I was like, woo! I don't have enough for a temple. I won't drone on about the importance of the Tianshu roll. Suffice to say that Uncle Tian entrusted me with the monumentally important task of assessing the candidates. And now it falls to me to give him a satisfactory answer. All of us here know the score. Don't beat around the bush. Just get on with it. Qian Wei has many pioneering ideas, but some of his plans are lacking in detail, and he easily gets into testy exchanges with other people. Mingguo is reliable, but not quite ambitious enough, and because of his personality, he struggles to win people over. See, he, I told you, the hat in was contrast, just... Zhu Yi is evenly balanced across the board, and enjoys an excellent reputation in Liyue. But we're not going to pick him. Consideration. I have decided to recommend Zhu Yi to the Liyue Qixing. Uh, uh, what? Oh, uh, congratulations. Thank you. Honestly, I'm a little surprised to hear my name being announced. Uh -huh. In my estimation, all three of us are worthy candidates for the Tianshu position. As your competitor, I've become keenly aware of your great talent. Would either of you entertain the possibility of working with me uh -oh. in the future? And I'll have to see. I'm in a bad mood. <laughs> uh, I'm in a bad mood. This is the last thing I want to be thinking about right now. I don't mind. As long as I can help. Okay, well, that's all from me. Jur E, you'll have some preparation to do. It won't be long before you're informed of your official appointment. I hope you will work hard and make Uncle Tian proud. I will live up to the Tian Shu name. On this, you have my word. I should go. I need uh -huh. to pack my things, and then I think a celebratory meal is in order. Would anyone like to join me? Count me out. I'm not in the mood for a celebration. 
Jerry seems pretty relaxed now. This would be a good time to follow him. Hey, yeah, I'll Trevor, join. Tell me something. What exactly does that guy have that I don't? If you can't answer that, I'm not accepting this result. I uh, also wouldn't mind knowing. Oh no, if we get stuck here, we won't be able to leave. Just leave, dog. Follow him. Yes, ma'am. Da -da 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 -da. We finally got rid of them. Lady Yelan, Jury has gone towards Fayum Slough. Follow him quickly. That reminds me. Difficult to say, but everything should become a lot clearer. Sorry, I'm waiting for them to stop talking. I was uh, recording something like a few days ago and I realized that there's like a delay with my mic and my desktop audio. I'm sorry, Lady And Elon. it was funny because, hold on. It's funny because it was like a singing, like I was uh, singing along to something and it's just like you hear. You're so mean, Ryan. Did you know that? He's too good at this. We weren't able to keep following him without being seen. How the heck did he manage to shake Yelan's sportness? I guess Jerry didn't let his guard down. Still as vigilant as ever. No, Upe says he's much more relaxed than usual. Maybe it's just how he's wired. Perceptive enough to sense when he's being watched. But how? Don't blame yourselves. Let's not forget he was trained by Uncle Tian himself. Evading detection is not an unusual skill for him to have. If I'd asked you to tail Uncle Tian, you'd have ended up at a dead end too. It's fine. So, where did you lose him? Shinyue Kiosk. He only went in briefly. Upe and I were watching outside the whole time. A few moments later, a man dressed in a completely different outfit came out. Upe had a feeling that it was him, but we couldn't get close enough to check without blowing our cover. I figured that if we spooked him, it would undo what we've accomplished today so far. Another option would have been to arrest him there and then. But without any evidence, that would have been meaningless. So I stopped, Upe, and I stayed here to wait for you while that meathead went to ask around in Shinue Kiosk. Good work. The fish didn't take the bait, but that's okay. As long as he's still swimming around, we'll find a way to catch him eventually. The key is figuring out what he's trying to achieve. Let's go to Shinue Kiosk. Could you explain to me how that works? A guy like him comes in, changes his whole outfit right under your nose, and you don't even ask him about it? Our customers are free to dress however they please. What grounds would I have to question him? Two minutes over. Anyway, as I was saying... What was I even saying? I don't even remember. You interrupted me literally at a time where I just forgot, like I was telling a story and I just completely forgot what I was saying. <sighs> okay, fair enough, but... Didn't Not you fine. Think it was just this sip of water is for strange. you, you kind friend. Well, maybe I did, but it still doesn't give me the right to stop him. Water. Enough. Let's tone this down a little. I'll make this quick. Just one question. What did he buy while he was here? Oh, he didn't buy anything. He just picked up a bottle of liquor that he ordered ages ago. A bottle of liquor? Yes, a very strong kind. Fiery Ooh. with a rich flavor. That's Fatui. Average customer Not Fatui, that's order. Sneshnaya. This gentleman ordered it in person from us a long time ago. It's giving he was Sneshnaya. Only here today to pick it up. Liquor and wineware. Where to? Shigu and... Shigu Antiques? Girl, I was about to be like, let's go to the campsite. That makes more sense to me. Oh, how do I get out of here? What? Oh. <laughs> it blends in so well with the wall, please. What was I talking about earlier? I literally don't remember. That's insane. I don't remember. 
I was like, while I was silent, I was like thinking in the back of my head, don't forget what I was talking about, don't forget what I was talking about, and then I just forgot. Hey, Sorry to bother you. We're friends of his. He's been telling us. Sure. Which model are you looking for? Um, we don't really know a whole lot about wineware. Sure, he picked up his set not long ago. As a quality imitation of an antique wineware set, it has you the sound... look and feel of a luxury item. You sound like a Persona character that I can't aware, quite many of this put a name on. Stock. And now that Mr. Jur E has taken one... Don't worry. Price shouldn't be an issue. I'm sure we can work... So For this set, the wine glasses are sold separately. Minimum purchase is one glass. Maximum is four. Mr. Jur E, but... Two. Okay. Thanks, Lin Mong. Seems that well, don't take too long. Wait. She just gave out all that information. Shoot. Thank this you. This is turning into a real headache. Uh, I just like to point out that we have the self-professed. Uh -huh. It's not like you did. My specialty uh -huh. is in. I. Uh huh. Yay, Lon. Oh, if we can't figure out where Jerry went, it's uh huh. Uh, it's... uh huh. What do you mean? First of all, Jer E isn't much of a drinker. Uh -huh. If he was just looking to celebrate by himself. Uh huh. No. This, uh -huh. this person is clearly enjoys. Uh -huh. now, where Imagine find child walks in. That <laughs> hey, traveler. No. <laughs> the officials. Hmm. Have both locations surrounded. Oh, the, the bank. Is it time for us to make our move? Get with the program, would you? <laughs> this is a covert surveillance operation. In which case, we. Great idea. But Lady Yelan. I'm well aware. Stick to your Don't orders. care. Yes, okay, let's go. 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 For two. Go to Yangsh. Ah. I hate these time things. Okay. T. House is this way. I wish we could go into these buildings. Like, you know how Inazuma has, like, restaurants that you can go inside? Or, like, that one restaurant I get? Oh, actually, no, the tea house is also there. Like, the we can, like, go inside and actually look at it. I wish that they had more of those in the way. Because the only ones I know of are what we just went to, the restaurant that we just went to. There's another restaurant that I know. And I think that's it. always crawling with monsters. Would you count the the J Champer as one? I don't really think so. Oh no, we gotta go get them. Let's go. If my hunch is correct, we just might hit the jackpot this time. Go to Shingsu, Shingsu, Shingsu pool. Oh, that's the pool. I thought that the pool was all the way over here. Never mind. I remember doing this puzzle like all this by myself without any pool. tutorial Full and I was so proud of myself. With monsters. Anyone with any sense steers well clear of this place. I've looked into the place before. There's a worker's entrance somewhere around here. Follow me. Yeah, follow me. Where, girl? Go to the place Yelan pointed out. <gasps> Um, so this? There's been some work done on this place in the past, but it's a bit of a left. The workers are safe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't care. Don't Let me play as you along. They have other things. Oh, here are three little helpers at. Let me play as her. Let me play as her. Let me play as her. Geo and Hydro. Okay, we're gonna get Hydro, right? 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 Please tell me yes. Please tell me yes. I don't want to embarrass myself by going in with no Hydro if she's not even gonna be a trial character. Yeah. Okay, I don't really know how to use her, to be honest. I'm not gonna lie. Really don't know how to use her. Wow. Uh, so let's go figure it out. HP is increased. So she scale off HP? Uh, something, something, something. There's someone outside talking. It scared me. Okay, uh. Oh, oh I see, I see. Dealing hydro damage based on her HP. That's weird, but okay. Uh, I thought... Oh, I guess she is the HP. I remember when when they're coming out with like all these characters that, uh, like around her time, I do not remember her being scaled off HP. Completely forgot about that. Okay, so tap is a okay, hand and hold is like you. Uh huh. I remember. Okay, and then thirty four percent chance of so, so what? 
34% chance to reset her breakthrough state. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. All I know is cool running. Let's do it. I don't know if I did that right. <laughs> I really don't know if I did that right. I have no idea how to use her. Okay, let me... <laughs> well, that's not what to do. How do you do this? Okay, how do you do it? Is that how you use her? Her charge attack had a low charge thingamajiggy, charge cooldown thingamajiggy. Ooh, hey. Looks like he went through that door. That must be the emergency access Let's go. Layers in on. This is very pretty. Wow. Okay, what? Is this a puzzle that I should know about? I see. Can I shoot these? Oh shoot. Uh Am I am I dumb? Am I missing something? Obviously those little crystal things go in there, but hi. How about you two? Think you can get away? You can get away. Come here, come here, besties. I don't know what I'm doing right now. <laughs> How do you use her? I don't understand. Okay, that's probably it. I see. Take it easy. That, okay. So, okay, I get it now. I kind of get it. I think so. I, I say this as if I'm gonna like pull for her. Yeah, no. Uh, oh, these things. Okay, come here. There's another one this side. I was looking for those breakable rocks that like are around leeway, like you know what I mean, like the the brown ones that like shine gold. Take it easy. That you had to like break to get them. I thought that's where those go, but I was, so I was looking for that. But never mind. Okay. Investigate the underwater entrance. What is that, first of all? This is the construction worker's emergency access route, but it's closed tight. Yeah, no, really. Trying to break through would be risky. Let's see if we can find another way. Uh, uh what is that for? <laughs> Let's see. Okay. Whoa, I didn't know you are done. Okay, okay, okay. I thought I was gonna keep going up and I was like, oh no, I am left early. Uh... Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, do so you need two of those bad boys? Just die super quick. I'm out of sneeze. I can smell a sneeze. I can smell a sneeze? I mean, I can sense a sneeze. Why did I say smell? I meant to say I could sense a sneeze. Okay, yes, sure. I could smell a sneeze. I don't know why I immediately went back. I should have just kept going, but it's okay. Alright, so the ones over there. Stone coming on. Zuba, 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 Zuba. Zuba, Zuba. Oh, hey guys. Do I even really need to fight you? No, I'm good. Another stone wall is an instrument path. Move you. Move you. Ooh, chest. Hi. Then move you. Give me you. Get out. Ooh. Push. I remember- what quests were these in? I remember- I remember seeing this. 
the rock does not budge an inch. Um, okay, obviously there's something there, now I'm curious. Girl. Okay, I guess we're not gonna see what it is. Whatever, it's fine. <laughs> I used to be such a stickler about like collecting every single chest and every single thing in in like quests and stuff like that, because like you can only see them once. But now I just do not care, I think. Oh. Wouldn't that like very much overflow? Uh -huh. I guess not. The water's flowed into the groove, and now the statues have lit up. Okay, now we should be able to move the statues. A soft sound is heard under the statue? What? Go that way. The statue cannot face this way? Yeah, okay, that's, I didn't try to- okay. Um. oh wow, that's... Okay, let's do this one first, because this one's stuck in a more- in more of a corner. Oh shoot. <laughs> oh no 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. No. Go this way. And then go here. And then go here. And then you go up there. And problem solved. Go. Woohoo! You know those those puzzles in Inazuma that are like this? No, never again. Never again. I hate those so much. I hope they never bring those back. It's probably one of the most annoying puzzles. Okay. Uh -huh. I keep accidentally pressing. Okay. I keep accidentally pressing four. What does her ult do? Oh yeah. Okay, I gotta know. You need to heal. So you know what? What is this dice? This die in it. I have no idea how to use it. <laughs> I barely did her trial too. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mmm. I can tell from the aroma that this is very fine liquor indeed. I'm impressed. Come on. Bottoms up. Uh, after you, of course. Bottoms up, bottoms up, bottoms up. There's no nose. <laughs> oh, sorry, that went down the wrong way. I've never drunk anything this strong before. It'll take me some getting used to. <laughs> he sounds like he's You'll dying. Get there. If you want to stay friends with us, you have to drink with us. <laughs> I'll do my best. You're more of a lightweight than I thought. Already struggling after one glass? I thought you were made of sterner stuff. You certainly kept it together <gasps> poisoning your teacher's soup. What? Come on, another round. Less talking, more drinking. That's <laughs> crazy. Sure. You didn't leave me much of a choice, though, did you? Just the mention of poisoning sends shivers down my spine. I'm more timid than you realize. Every time I poisoned him, I had to hide away oh, at home for a few that days sucks. because I was so scared of getting caught. Man. I know it has not been easy for you, my friend. We appreciate all your hard work. But oh, I have to say, you really are quite a genius at poisoning people. I mean, the poison we brought from Snezhnaya is as strong as this wine. But you found a way to turn it That's into horrible. an imperceptible Dog. slow poison. And came up with the idea of delivering it through fish soup. That's horrible. What you said? Oh, oh yeah. You said the soup's fishy flavor neutralizes the pungency of the poison, and this process even makes the soup tastier as a result. Oh my god. It struck god. me one day when I was fishing. I'm lucky it did. Otherwise, I'm not sure I would have been able to fool Uncle Tien. You have performed excellently. The Fatui will continue to provide the support you need to consolidate your position as Tian Shu. Of course, this is as long as you continue to do as we instruct. Aside from Ching Shu Pool, we also have some other requests for you, which we will inform you of in due course. Don't worry. Whatever tasks you have for me, I will perform them diligently. Poor thing. Did you hear that? It was poison. <laughs> in, in a large, very loud whisper. Did you hear that? 
it was it was poison. What a nasty guy. Seize him. Hold on. Did Seize you bring him. a camera? Oh, I right. did. You can use mine. This is quite a scene. We have to capture it for posterity. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I was going to do it myself. You uh, super Excellent liquor. We've uh, seen no progress on the diplomatic front, and everyone has been eyeing up the treasure of Qingxu Pool. Okay. But soon, everything uh -huh, will be okay, don't care, don't care, don't care, don't care. I don't care, don't care. I knew right away that you would make a good partner for us. Hey. What'd you say? How could I forget? You said a lowly commoner Dang. like the only way is for you to shine bright in the Tian Shu's darkest moment. Dang, yes. that's horrible. Under normal circumstances, the gap just Jeez. your two competitors. Chen Wei had wealth. Ming Bo had reputation. And that's why I decided to help you. Yeah, you know, there's an old saying in the Fatui. Poor guy. I know he doesn't have evil alone, intentions, but like, geez. Yes. I cannot thank you enough for your generous. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. oh, heck, when you're not in the Uncle Uncle said that said that has low self esteem. Seems he was right. He was worried that whatever advantage he might have now will diminish over time. So that mm -hmm. do you have any more film in the camera? I have get plenty to use it. Tonight's how well this goes for us. Ooh, is there any more alcohol? Mm, go on. Fill me up. Mm -hmm. I'm in a good there's only a little left. Here, I'll fill your glass. If you like it, dog. I can what if it's poisoning the wine? Oh my god. Mm. Ew. That's a weird gulp. Ooh, this Ooh. is the good stuff. It is great. Watch. Mm. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Boink. So for two officials seems to be pain slowly drops to the ground. Yeah, rot roll. You, you poisoned my wine, but but when? You seem surprised, Mister Yusupov. You, how could you? How could I not? I've sacrificed years of my life studying and reflecting to prepare myself for this position. Can it be? He's a little bit end, evil. <laughs> I even had to poison my own. I teacher. felt that for him because like he's being taken advantage really of, but I put mm, never mind. Through all that just to become your little puppet. I don't want to bow down to anyone. He's for real as a villain again. arc. And that includes you. And you, imbecile. It's the Fatui who got you to where you are. Do you understand? If I disappear with no explanation, the embassy will come after you. They'll get to the bottom of this. Do you see the haystack mm -hmm. in the corner? Underneath it is a pile of explosives. And next door in the dark room are the three undercover agents you sent to infiltrate the Black Cliff. I'm gonna stay here till I see you slip into unconsciousness. Then I'm gonna set this on fire. Ooh. Once the flames burn through the hay, they'll ignite the explosives. D is that Yelon in the corner? <laughs> and everything will be there. <gasps> what? what do you hope to? I took the liberty of leaving some evidence of your contact with the undercover agents at the Black Cliff Forge. It won't take long for people to join the dots. Jeez, okay. The Fatui planted undercover agents in the Black Cliff Forge to steal their signature ruined... Uh -huh. But things didn't quite go to plan. Mistakes were made that led to the accidental deaths of the entire crew. Faced with the overwhelming evidence, the embassy won't investigate this any further. It explains why you acted alone. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, well, it's, mm -hmm, of course, mm -hmm. none of that will happen. Mm -hmm, don't care, don't care, don't care. After I die... A record? Oh. Because when you contacted me, I also made contact with your associates. Dang. I have Leofonte. He'll help me tie up all the loose ends. He has been eyeing your position. Ooh. That traitor. Shh, 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 shh. Relax. Oh. It's over. After tonight, everyone Ooh. gets what they want. There's a voice actor. Okay. Everyone else in the know is either my accomplice are about to be taken out of the picture. Okay. Sweet dreams, Mr. Yusupov. Who is this? What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. What? Oh. 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 Let's see it. Ah, oh, I was expecting like a whole cutscene. I was expecting a whole cutscene. Come on. 
Hello, Yelan. Okay. Here I go. I did a little surveying on the way here and found that you'd left yourself three escape routes in case things went south. I have them all surrounded. If you're thinking of trying anything, save yourself the effort. The game's up. We were here the whole time and have pictures of everything. They came out pretty nicely. Want to see them? The game's up? Forgive me, I'm not yeah, much. Okay. I happened to discover a Fatui operation here. So I approached them on the pretext of joining forces and eventually brought them down. Uh -huh. This is how you want to play it, huh? Mm -hmm. You do you. All we need to do to convict you is establish that the poison in his system is the same as an uncle. Y'all have the technology for that? <laughs> hmm. Nothing else you wanted to add? One wrong move and it all comes crashing down. You followed him here, didn't you? Let's talk about the yeah, let's talk about it. Your point. When I take office, I can guarantee that I will act. Uh huh. I don't deny that I uh -huh. used underhand. Uh huh. You still don't get it, do you? Yeah. Even now. That what sounds really think? familiar. Uh, I think. Uh, yeah. What will Uncle Chan think? Exactly. Jury. Clever people can always come up with a good excuse, but while you might be able to get other people to believe you, you'll never be able to deceive yourself. There's nothing wrong with wanting to win other people's respect. But when has Uncle Tian ever looked down on you? He was like a teacher and a father to you, but you chose to repay that by poisoning him. Whatever positive goal you may have started out with, you threw it away in that moment. That's enough. You I... tell him. You tell him. Of course. What makes this even crueler is that you managed to convince yourself there was no other way. Uncle Tian was always going to give you this opportunity. Even if you'd done nothing at all. Out of everyone in the world, he is the one who trusts you the most. So much that he drank your fish soup without doubting you, not for one second. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah, boohoo. Boohoo, girl, boohoo. Oh, is here it is. Like fishing. It cannot be rushed. Whatever you do, impatience will accomplish nothing. I was just like you once. Desperate to prove myself. Only later did I realize things do not always turn out the way you plan. But you have to keep calm to carry on. You're still young. Be patient, believe in yourself, and don't look outside yourself to prove your value. <laughs> Where you did this. Days? It's been a long time since he last paid me a visit. <laughs> Maybe he's just busy. <laughs> well, next time, if he doesn't bring a pot of piping hot fish soup, don't let him in. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. That's so horrible, about, please. We'll plenty of time to mull it over in prison. Oh, I almost forgot. If the Fatui find out what happened today, prison might not turn out to be the safest place <laughs> for you. Trying to have friends on both sides, it has a way of turning everyone against you. But right Served. Now, I have an opportunity for you. Let's hear it. Huh? <laughs> Make me Tianju. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so, 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 Sorry. Whistling. Things are about to get extremely busy for me. Let's meet at Yenshang Tea House tomorrow morning. I'll have someone Jeez, remove served. the explosives. Then. Need our help with that? No, it could be dangerous. Don't be careful. Don't worry, Elon. If things go south, if if you wanted me to remove the explosive and things went south, just give me an egg. I'll be fine. Now watch this. Get them. Set them on fire. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh, shoot! Oh God! Wait. It's okay, Elon. I got this. I got this. Trust. See? Explosives? <laughs> Explosive shamoses. There's no explosives here. Look, they would have. They would have sent a fire by now. Come on. How in here? Anything in here? Just gonna look for every single secret that they could be in here. Dang. Anyway. Uh, yeah, she served. <gasps> A 
Mega with Twitch Prime. Thank you. OMG, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How are you doing? I haven't seen you in a while. I recognize your name. That's how it's been so long since I've streamed, like consistently streamed, that like every time I see a name that looks vaguely familiar, I'm like, oh my god, they still remember me. <laughs> yeah, I recognize your name. How have you been? What's up? Again, thank you very much. I think this quest is almost done, which thank god, because I was getting bored out of my mind. I like the story, don't get me wrong. And I love Yelan, don't get me wrong. But story quests just have a way of putting me to sleep. I want to lay down and just go to sleep after this, for there real. Is now no poison left in his oh. System. But recovery from the damage already done will not happen overnight. Dr. Baishu, is my father going to be... Helping you get back to fellow small streamers? Thank you! Too You're too kind. Taking the prescribed too kind! Every day. And a full recovery two to three a day. Two to three years. How we got him it's messed good up. We caught it in time. <laughs> a few <laughs> days later, and the toxin would have built up in the internal organs. At Is Ryan point, still here? Things would have been much more Ryan, come serious. get your man. How did they Look at him. successfully secure such a seldom seen poison? Poison? It seems the Fatui are extremely resourceful. Unfortunately for them, they were up against us. Uncle Tian will be heading off now. Remember to get plenty of rest and avoid overexerting yourself while you're recovering. For Don't two to three nice. years. Thank you very much. Don't mind how Hello? That was a weird pause. Yo, what's up? Ah, you're here too? Thank you for all you've done to resolve <laughs> this situation. Had to make some tea and poison it to get revenge on everybody. Yes. <laughs> Had to go me home. Oh, thank you. My Have a great day, bestie. Getting clear again. Luckily, it looks like choosing the Tian Shu's successor is suddenly not such a pressing issue after all. It's probably gonna be her, isn't it? Just kidding. Hey, you Wait, really? Maybe it might be her. Mostly wrapped up, so I thought I'd use the process, process contains this. Is my, my gratitude. Uh huh. Even can show. That's even so sad. He did not deserve that. He didn't deserve that. I thought he was gonna for real die though. I was like, this is the last time we're gonna see him. There he goes. Whenever it happens, it's still a dismal experience. Dismal experience. Is it just Paimon, or is Uncle Tian not that surprised? <laughs> Don't underestimate Uncle Tian. He wouldn't have appointed me as assessment officer if he hadn't had his doubts about Jur E. Dang. Normally, the UI Pavilion would be responsible for everybody knew about all this, and you Isn't just had to right, drag Uncle me along, like giving me tiny clues yes, over the course of how many honest, days? I wanted to trust him unreservedly, but I have to be responsible with the business. At the beginning, Yelan could have been like, "Hey, so like, I have a suspicion about X, Y, Z, and this is why." Instead of being like, "You'll see, you'll see it for yourself." So 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 you know. Him. I concluded that he had. In the end, what if this none changed. of this had ever happened? I never had any plans to recommend him directly, but I always intended to give him the chance to compete. Uh -huh. I had no, no reputation. reputation to speak of when <gasps> I first became Ganyu. I relied on Ganyu's assistance for all manner. Of I have to wins. admit, the intel suggests that the Fatui saw him as very low risk. He uh -huh, chose uh -huh, that specific uh -huh, uh -huh. liquor from oh Shinrai my god, it's so bright because the fiery flavor would mask the bitterness of the poison. And he chose to wait until the Fatui official was drunk and had his guard down before delivering it to him. He also installed a secret compartment in the wine pot he bought to hold the poison. How come we didn't see of any of this? Down, he'd shake the pot to release the poison from the compartment into the liquor. Afterwards, we also found he had an antidote on him. Had the Fatui official grown suspicious, do, 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 would have do, do, wine. He, he oh, really, really planned all of that. Yes. Had he drunk the poisonous wine, he still would have faced serious health consequences. Cheese. All right, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm tired of this quest. Jury now. He's in prison, dog. No. I mean, he is sitting in a jail cell. Like Yenfei says, everyone who breaks the law has to pay the price. Still, he's cooperating. He didn't turn down my offer to strike a deal. 
I'll make sure there are plenty of guards around to keep him safe from anything the Fatui might be planning. What is okay? I don't really know much about Yelan. What is her position, Liwei? Again, I thought that she was she works like with Ningguang secretly or something like that. But what exactly is she? As far as this went, I'd have handed the case and obviously she says she owns this tea house too, but I don't really know what she is, you know? And I don't have her, so like I can't just like check her story. I mean, I guess I could just I search it up, but like still. Well, did you? Almost. Unfortunately, it slipped off. Uncle Tian? Tian, what, yeah, what the heck? What are you talking about? Jur <laughs> E colluded with the Fatui to try and secure the with use of Hov in our hands. I don't care, don't care, don't care. I 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 don't care, don't care. Yeah, so this was your real plan? Why else did you think? Something, 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 something. We got half what, but when we tried to. Oh, I didn't get to read that. The Fatui must be spying on us. I found out from other sources that the Harbinger Regrader got involved. The Fatui's Which one is that? Hold on, what? Regrader Which one is that? Regrader was only treating this as a peripheral concern. It's a pity Red that the Ophon got away. But no which one is that? Are still looking oh, Pantalone. <laughs> Pantalone. Gives me a starting point for my next mission. <laughs> Pantalone. I have to ask you that. Or Pantalone. Or Pantalone. Do you have any desire to take over the, the position you copy. of Tianshu yourself? I remember you showed some interest a few days ago at Yenshang Tea House. In my estimation, you are more than competent. More than competent. Oh, that. <laughs> I was obviously joking. I prefer my current life. There's danger and there's excitement. There's a cat right there that Although I keep it watching. Although behind-the-scenes role. As Tianshu, I wouldn't have the chance to get involved in anything truly clandestine or face any real danger. These words that they're just throwing around <sighs> right, that I don't understand. Clandestine. To go. I'm heading off again Cat's in a few days and I still have to prepare. Jeez. They got nice vocabulary, Leeway. Jeez. As you might have guessed, <laughs> it's for me to know and you to find out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm not sure if you keep Just going kidding. as you are, getting yourselves involved in other people's business all the time, you're sure to get caught up in another misadventure before too long. Yeah. Maybe I'll see That's you the, the entire game is us just getting caught up Until in then, other people's business <laughs> over around. and over and over again. <laughs> a lot of people are watching you for a lot of reasons. If you have any more questions, just ask Uncle Tian. After the recent turn of events, I'd say he owes you one, wouldn't you? All right. Yay! Finally done. Calculated Gambit. That's a nice title for her. Do you say anything else? What would you like to know? Ooh, okay. I uh, don't care about him. We just talked about her. Don't really care. I want to know the about him. The greater is the ninth of the Fatui Harbingers, though likely the first among Oh yeah, the financial man. Okay, However, I remember now. His wealth is not a mere question of how much more he has to his name. He has a very unique understanding of wealth. Uh huh. Beyond that, that, I don't have that understanding. Uh, yes, 60 primos for that. Wow, look at that. Whoa, so many primos. Okay, no, dog, I'm burnt out. That one quest just probably sucked the entire life out of me. But hey, it's at least it's one less than you know, normal. Let me see. That one's really close by. Let's take that. Let's see how long this one takes. I don't know what this one is. If this one's short, then I'll finish it right now too. But if I suspect that it might be long, then I Maybe we'll end the stream here. Question mark, because I want to lay down. Suck, man. Ah, oh, just my luck. I'm not going to tell any more stories today. Not today, I swear it. What's going on? This tiny little stage is really annoying me. It's been poorly maintained for decades. It's squeezed at the lightest touch. I've told our boss, Fan Erdie. Sure. That it needs to be replaced, but oh, okay. Today, when I was telling the story of the Wrath of Haishan, it should. Uh, it would make that infernal squeak with every pogue that would strike. Nothing could have killed the mood more effectively. Everyone present burst out laughing, and some even made fun of me for it. I'm fed up with it. I must bring a good carpenter to see fun air. Or I might just be fun air. Or yeah, whatever. Okay, then we'll see what other excuses he can come up with this time. You're from the Adventurer's Guild, right? Can I just directly ask you to find a carpenter for me? How do I find them? Oh, my bad. You don't look like you're from around here. How, how can I expect you to know where to find good carpenters? Well then, how about you go to Chingsei Village and look for Master Lu at Fanmu Carpenters. He's known for good skills. Please ask him if he's willing to help me. You can send an apprentice if he's not available. Any carpenter from Fanmu's carpenters can manage the job, and if they build it right, that means we can finally have the befitting stage for Miss Yoon. 
<laughs> I'm such a genius. With this reasoning that I just came up with, I don't see how Eric or Eric could, if something could say no again this time. Just rest assured, as long as you bring the carpenter here, you'll be paid in full. Got it. And I'll be counting on you. I'm at the tea house every day. Come to me when you found our carpenter. Uh, okay, that seems pretty short enough. You just have to talk to this guy and he'll just... No, but no one gets in quests. Watch. I'm going to talk to this guy. He's going to tell me, hey, you need to do this. And then I'm like, okay, and then I go do the thing. And he's like, actually, I need, to do, we need you to do one more thing, one more thing. And I'll just do that one more thing. He's like, all right, one last thing. And I go do it. And he's like, okay, I'll come with you. And then we go to the we go to the, the uh, stage. And he's like, I need X, Y, and Z for this stage. And we're like, okay, let's go get the... And then and he's like, okay, I need you need to wait 24 hours for this. Like, it's just... I know we have quests at this point. Watch, that's what's going to happen. What's the hurry, young lady? Would you like to sit down and have a cup of tea? There's something I need to request. Oh, it's not difficult to build a new stage, but I'm afraid I can't help. Leeway Harbor is too far away. No one will be taking care of fun move carpenters if I go. What's more, I'm too old to travel this far. It'll take a toll my fragile bones. Commissioned. <laughs> Kiss the commission to be goodbye then. And we won't bother fun move carpenters. Hang on a second. Since you traveled all the way here, why don't I recommend someone capable to you? Although he's not yet my apprentice, I've been considering the possibility of accepting him. Master Lou, I'm almost done with the four chair set the village had wanted, but I ran out of wood for the last chair. Don't tell me I'm gonna have to get wood. Please don't tell me I have to get wood for you. Dayu, thank you for helping out in the village. Speak of the devil, I was just about to say that, uh, Dayu can have your request as well. My mom is texting me. What's up, mom? Do you wanna- Ooh. Yeah. She's asking me if I wanna have dinner. Uh, hand your request as well. Do you have a job for me? But I'm not yet Master Lou's apprentice, so I can't represent Fanmu Carpenters. Calm down there. They make oh, they came from Liwi Harbor and wanted us to build a new stage for Heyu Tea House. Hi, Dijan. What's up? How was the earthquake? Oh my god, I heard about it. My mom's like, there was a 7.8 earthquake. And I was like, oh my god. <laughs> we want us to build a stage? Us means me and Master Lu. Did you hear that, Granny Roshin? Roa? Roshin. Yes, I did. And <laughs> Master Lu, Daddy really wants to be your apprentice. He only follows you around after the Carter's when there's so many other choices. The diligent kind boy, it's time you gave the nod. Got it, got it. I've already asked him to take on jobs on my behalf. I think it, I've made myself quite clear. Thank you, master. Uh, Dayu, the first job I'm going to officially send you on is to build a stage for Heyu Tea House. Do your best and make you proud. Didn't feel it, I was sleeping. <laughs> no, when we have earthquakes here, and then I don't think we've had like a big earthquake here ever. Like I think, well, maybe we have, but I just don't remember. I've never felt any earthquakes here. I think maybe I felt like one. When I was like really little, but like every every other earthquake we've had in California, I just never feel them. <laughs> I sleep through them. No, one time I was like wide awake too. I remember I was wide awake. I think I was in class or something, maybe something like that. And everyone's like, "Oh my god, did you feel that earthquake?" And I was like, "What? There's an earthquake?" <laughs> I just don't feel them. But I guess to be fair, they're not. I don't think they're that big. Piece of cake. I worked for the carpenter who built the J the stage with Jane Chamber. Don't be so proud yet. The stage of Hey Tea House has lasted for decades. You got to build a sturdy one for them too. Oh, so this is all for Arius or yes, Tea House. How has he mentioned never replace his tiny stage for that? <laughs> I'll have to take the job. Well, let me finish the last share in a second. I'll come with you. Sorry that you have to wait for a bit. I need three pieces. <laughs> ah, I love, I love when they, I love when they just, uh, yeah. See, see, see how I called it? See how I called it? Oh my God. I called it. Look at how I literally called it. I was like, they're going to need the X, Y, and Z for this thing. Look how I called it. Look if you already have this, but like, oh my God. Here they are. Makes a chair. Last chair is finished. Let's go to tea house. Bye. I'll be back. Yeah. Okay. Bye. And look, he's gonna make us wait. Look. Watch this. He's gonna make us wait. Watch. Watch. Just watch. <laughs> Told you. Uh, okay. Eighteen something next day. Guessing quests and dialogues. Yeah. Not my favorite. I just finished Yelan's story quest, and that took me maybe a few ages to finish because I was reading almost every single line. Normally I don't. Normally I don't read every single line, but it's been like a year since I've actually experienced the story quest to, to its fullest. So I was like, maybe I should start, you know, paying attention to the story. But then I was like, oh, that's so... <laughs> it takes so long. <laughs> it takes so long. It takes so long. Anyway. My mom was texting me asking if I wanted to go to this Filipino restaurant tonight, and that's at 8 o'clock, so I should be good to go. I should I should be able to keep streaming until then. Or after this quest, like I said, because I want to lay down, because my back hurts. 
And I hate how the story is like eight hours for to experience. Okay, what do you mean? Don't tell me that you're still arguing amongst yourselves. Oh, I get it. Mr. Leo Su wants to build a new stage, but he doesn't get to make uh, me the call here. Fanny, who is actually in charge, is going to be fine. Let me know. This is just great. Didn't you just say that you couldn't travel that far? What? So our trip was a waste in the end? Uh, be patient, let me try to- Oh, that's- that's- that's him. Never mind. Uh, if you don't want to spend a small money on this stage, you'll lose a big fortune in the future. Just think about it. Every time Miss Yoon gives her marvelous spear flourish performance, the audience will hear the squeak of the stage before they even get to applaud. Isn't that simply embarrassing? The Yoon Han Opera Troupe isn't allowed to- isn't obliged, sorry, to perform at a tea house. They could go somewhere else if they're displeased. That would be a huge loss on our side. You're tell- Sorry, Jackie. Miss Yoon is a dear friend. She would never do that to me. You're quite an optimist, aren't you? But I heard that many people have chosen to go to third round knockout instead of our own tea house lately. Aren Tung Chen has gotten more popular than me. Could you try to be a little more realistic? With all the money Miss Yoon has earned for the tea house, don't tell me that you can't even afford to build a new stage. That's so- <gasps> Oh my god! I didn't expect her to show up. <laughs> Did someone call my name? Oh, it's you, Mr. Leo Su. You look angry. What happened? It's nothing. I'm not angry, actually. Well, are you to perform today? I'm just here to have some tea and pay you an area visit. Ah, if it isn't Ari. I was just thinking about you, girl. Oh, you're my favorite. My, you're my favorite. You're my, my little meow meow. You're my meow. Anyway, you're being humorous. Uh, Miss Yun certainly knows the art of conversation. Come, friends, I have some newly made tea from Chao Ling Village. Let's brew a pot. Er, yeah, when I was downstairs, I heard that you are going to rebuild the stage. So, this day has finally come? Um, this'll need a bit more consideration. Oh? A bit more consideration? Speaking of which, do you know who I visited in Qingxie Village today? You can just directly tell me that you went to see Roshin again. Good guess! Granny Rosh, I'm having a hard time pronouncing that, was asking about the Heiyu Tea House, and I told her that everything was the same when she was young. Then she said, What did she say? Oops, I forgot what she said. It seemed to have a good memory, but why does it have to fail on this particular day with something so important? Forget it, she'll be happy with things remaining as they were. Young people are always after new things and have little respect for the past. All you know is forcing me to rebuild the stage. The more I explain, the more you find me annoying. <laughs> Please don't get mad, Aria. Let's have some tea and I'll, I shall brew some. Let's have tea and I... It should be let's... I'll... Okay. Anyway, that's a weird order of sentencing. Okay. Ari right, and Mr. Leo Su, can I tell you to bring me some tea? Please don't tell me I have to... Okay. <laughs> brew tea with Yunjin. My dream! Okay, where is she though? <laughs> Fire? Girl? Oh, oh, oh. I know where it is. It's all the way up here. Where's the tea brewing thing? Okay, whatever. Miss you, and I was wondering why Uryu refused to build a new stage despite all its benefits. Now I see why, thanks to your clever choice of topic. I understand his nostalgia. Yes, I really do, but I didn't expect him to have held on to that for decades. Now we know the reason behind it. Uh, yeah, I don't get it. This is an old story, but since you're involved, I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. Fan Air used to be an opera singer when he was young, and he often performed together with Granny Roshin. Roshin! They would usually play a couple. Perhaps Aria wanted to- Aww, wanted it to be real. But Granny Roshin had feelings for someone else. Later, she grew tired of the stage performance and then decided to go to the Qingxie village with the one she loved. But that person didn't make it to Qingxie village with Granny Roshin, leaving- Okay, knowing that I often visit her, Arya would ask me about her from time to time. I didn't mean to click that fast. I, did, I can tell that he still cares for Granny Roshin. He sees the stage as a symbol of their past and do thus doesn't want to tear it down. Why can't you just bring it somewhere else? Uh, since the stage means so much to Arya, he's not going to let us build a new one. I guess all our efforts are wasted. That's not necessarily the case. I have a way to change his mind. Give me some time, Mr. Liu Su. Really? As long as the stage gets repaid, I'll be in your debt, Miss Yoon. I won't ask for too much. Please tell Ring of Raining Blade. Please tell Ring of Raining Blades. B Blades to its, I can't read to its very end. All right, join me if you want. You feel very different than usual. Apparently, our tea house is you know. No problem. Makes sense. Finish the tea. It's time to talk to Aria. You didn't even drink any tea. I didn't see no tea on your 
table or anything. Where are you come from? What's up, dude? You know, it would have been cool detail if, like, whenever you actually walked on the stage, like, it's sweet. That'd be a cool detail. Anyway. Hey, yeah, when we were drinking tea, I suddenly remembered what Granny Roshin told me. Oh, what did she say? She said, Arya always loves to make things difficult for himself. I feel sad about it. Ah, she truly understands me. But it seems that she doesn't miss the old stage. I'm the only person who can't let go. What a fool I was to be so obsessed with this stage. Alright, you can rebuild it. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> It's a touching thing to have kept the stage for many years. I don't find it foolish at all. Please don't take it that way. I'll think of it that way. The stage must be rebuilt, but we mustn't damage what Arya wants to preserve in memory. So you finally made your decision? Great, I'll start working on it right away. Here, take a look at my blueprint. The grand stage on the J Chamber was built based on it. According to this design, we need to tear down the walls on the two sides and blah blah blah. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. I think we need to repair the stage instead of building something entirely new. Since the problem is caused by the squeaky wood floor, why don't we just repair the floor first? As for the rest, we can talk about it later. What do you think, Mr. Liosu? So long as the stage doesn't affect the performance, I have no objections to Miss Yun and Arya's arrangements. Huh, is that all you want? So you don't need me to build a new stage? I agree, Miss Yun's idea is a good one. Why didn't you think of this before? How is this not an idea that you thought of before? What? A as it happens, we don't need to buy the plane so you can find some at the docks. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> of course of course of course they would no no it's fine it's fine <laughs> it's fine no it's fine i'll do all the dirty work it's fine i should really start making like uh those instant teleports you know the the portable teleports i kind of wasted them all at one point but i should start making more for quests like this where i just have to just go back and forth it's so stupid <laughs> You're telling me you these little- you made me walk all the way over there for those little, little play, uh, planks. I was what I meant to say. I almost said plates. I love the way- see, it's so pretty. Like, I just- it's just- I love this. I love it. It's so gorgeous. She's everything to me. Ah. What's up, man? These things would do. I'll start right away. <laughs> Nothing seems to have changed at all. Young man, since you traveled all the way from Chingse Village to here, how much should I pay you? I thought it'd be a big job, yet I only had to prepare, repair a few planks. That wasn't much trouble. I'm new in this line of jobs, so I won't ask for much. Two meals worth of more I should do. That makes 8,000 in total. That's a fair price. Good, but I can only offer- I can only offer 2,000 more. What? Why don't you just ask me to do it for you? This is area for you. He has a 50-50 principle, you know. Well, it means 50% off first and 50% off again, making it 75% off in total. It's rather, um, economical. Oh my, your boss is really stingy. You only repaired a few planks, I'll only offer 2,000, not a single more and more. Guess I'll have to take it since this is my first commission. Remember to put in a good word for Fanmu Carpenters with your audience. You can count on me. And my young friend here, thanks to you too, you'll be handsomely paid. About a thousand more. Okay. Oh, they're giving me a... <laughs> Give me a furnishing blueprint. Ha, ah, to run a tea house, I had to pinch pennies here and there. And Miss you, and you've solved the problem me for a visit. How should I thank you? That won't be necessary. I'm glad I was able to help. Uh, I wanted to visit. Uh, I had wanted to invite Xing, Sh Xing Yan. Ooh, typo! It's Xing Yan to go to a rock and roll performance. Oh, you need me to do some explaining for you while you go to the show, right? <laughs> Don't say that. I just haven't seen my friend Xing Yan for some time and miss her very much. That's all. If the people from the Yunhan the Opera Troupe ask about my whereabouts, please. Got it. I have the answer ready. Oh, you're asking for Miss Yun? She came to visit Xinyan and they did an embroidery together. That's what I'm going to tell them. Do you like this one? Yes, I do. Then it's decided then. Oh, she's so cute. Nice. Very nice. That looks nothing like... Oh, oh, he... that was the original plan for the... Okay, I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. I see. Cool. That was a cute little quest. Is there any more that won't take that long? Um... That's a whole event. That's like a whole entire event. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um... Or not an event, but like... Actually, it is an event. No, it is an event. It says event right there. Red light. Yeah, those are events. Okay. Maybe we'll save that for either off camera or next stream? Question mark? Because I want to lay down. We have to leave at 7, which means I can take a nap until 6 and then get ready by 7, then leave at 7, then go eat at 8. I just gave you my entire schedule for tonight. Anyway, I also have to record something. But anyway, uh, I think that would be it for this stream. I think so, I think so. Doom, 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 doom. Oh my gosh, I need to stretch. Oh my god. Ah. Yawn. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for stopping by. I know I haven't been streaming very often. I'm sorry. Every journey has its final day. Don't rush. Thanks, Zhongli. Sorry. <laughs> Again, working on stuff. I think I should be a little more active within the next week and a half or so. Not sure. But before I go, again, I wanted to announce that tomorrow night, we're going to watch Kung Fu Panda. Woo! I'm excited. I really want to watch it. And then also, sometime next week, I will be doing a stream with my mom. Yes, my mom. I know. Yeah, my mom. We're going to be streaming, doing something together with my face cam and stuff like that. So be there, be square. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I think that's all I have to announce. Just, I hope you guys have a great day. Goodbye, Dijan. And thank you Our for joining, Samantha's like I said. Oh, uh, of course. I remember. I remember. Yeah. But where are those, but where are those who, who share the memory?